Alright. All right. So, um... Our heroes, yeah, they basically fled for as long as they could muster in their weakened state through the forest. And finally, when they believe they're far enough away, um, they are going to come to a small clearing where possibly they can rest. So just give me a second, I gotta move them all the way back okay. to it. <laughs> that makes more nice. sense. I thought we were... There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, yes, yeah, so um, you've come to a small clearing here, um, you're exhausted, you're tired, most of you are hurting, in, you know, I know a lot of you received some healing on the run, so uh, it's not as bad as it could be for sure. But, oh, what um, time of day is it? Oh, it's, it's, it's pretty dark by now. Your tavern. Yeah, gonna... Oh, you know. Oh my God! I... Is there a tavern nearby? It's an, it's I just shed. realized yeah. why it does that. You know, because I copied it's the like... map from one that uh... had that was originally the tavern, and mm -hmm. that means because I copied it, it had the auto sound. Um, mm. well, it shouldn't have done. It says no. Oh well. Anyway, um, that might have been why, but it's not. So forget it. All right. So you are all in a small clearing. Um. You are surrounded by dense trees. Um, there's very little light shining down on the clearing. Of course, weather-wise, you guys are starting to approach summer. So, it's nowhere near as kind of cool as it used to be. It's still a little cool in the evenings, but down here, of course, with all the uh, canopy, any moisture that gets down here kind of gets humid. So, during the days, it's getting a little muggy. Uh, fortunately here you do have a little bit of light shining down from the moon above uh, enough for you guys to be able to see what you're doing um, if you're not one of the two gnomes so um, yeah over to you guys what do you want to do? Collapse. running? is that true? Stop, yeah, stop yeah, running. you're all pretty much <laughs> exhausted okay. my head hurts uh, I, I know Rush so was uh, very close to death I, I wanted to help earlier. He was just so far away. And there were others. And, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's fine. We're okay now. Ish. I, I, I have two arrows left. I lost two of my throwing axes. And my... My gun! I'm gonna, like, unstow my rifle. I'm just, like show it to everybody it I'm, almost I'm blew up in my face <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering why you didn't use your gun more yeah, the, yeah. when that happens I, I i i aimed and fired at the very beginning and well, well the firing pin went on top of the dirigible the first <laughs> shot first first shot really well i mean yes. if his flat, firing pin flat, hammer and counter. flash plan, <laughs> uh, flash pan are all missing yeah, they're tricky. It, can, Rush, can you? I mean, are you okay enough to work on this? <laughs> I'm I know you're okay almost dead, but uh, can you fix my gun? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. gonna hand it. I'm gonna hand it to him and say thank you, and then I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna collapse again. So I'm gonna examine it, and then I'm gonna plop down and start rummaging through my my toolbox to try to find parts. Well, well, that was colossally stupid. I just noticed something weird going on with. Did my... I? Yeah, I'm conscious. I just remember being on the ground all of a sudden. You, you, you did. Yeah. Uh, Rush, Rush made sure you got back up. Did? <laughs> I feel even worse now. Uh, it seems like you two saved each other. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Ned, are, are you okay? Ned just kind of like plops himself down and sighs and he says... <sighs> I've certainly felt better, but uh, I'll live. Well, 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 now you see the uh, the value of trying to stay afar, right? <laughs> this is what I was trying to teach you, you know, at the Gashi camp. But never mind. Uh, but if Ned hadn't stepped in the way of that, you'd be gone too. No, no, no. Not I, just I, your firing pin, yeah. No, I, absolutely. I, I, I'm, I wasn't saying that for for any other. I mean, that was his first fight, you know, and. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Ned, what happened? Yeah. How did you oh, know wow. you could cast? I, what do you mean, cast? 
What are you referring to? You emulated everything I do and it worked for you. Obviously you have some kind of aptitude. Um... I mean, I recall seeing you s use your hands in a certain way, and I've listened very intently to the words that you say, and so I copied your hand movements and said the words. Um, can everybody do that? No. No, that is a very rare talent. <laughs> yeah, it not everybody can do that. runs <laughs> either in a family or when you're chosen. Not regard. everybody needs to be able to do it. It's just something that <laughs> some people can do. Yeah, but we know Ned's special, don't we? And well, we all would have died if Ned couldn't. It, it, that is true, but what Josh said is correct. There's value in being able to fulfill your role in a team, right? And Ned, you are just a little bit more unique than us. <laughs> you seem to be able to do whatever we can do. And Well, I, I hardly think so. I found myself uh, on the worst end of every... In, in you know, every time I stepped in the way or tried to get involved, I almost got killed. Uh, I'm certainly not a combatant anywhere near uh, Jash's ability, and uh, I mean, I, I did what I could, but I certainly don't feel I'm in need of any uh, special praise. I wonder if you can heal. Um, I don't know. Do you want to try? Um, I suppose. Uh, come here, come here. Alright, he gets up and comes over to you. Alright. You've watched me, right? So just see if you can just heal me from what you uh, listened and watched. Okay, so um, if I recall... Uh so if she's got her eyes shut, I'm going to go up next to him and I'm going to start miming the motions that I would do for my healing spell. <laughs> okay, you see him kind of look and go... Alright, so yeah, I, he... Uh, I tell him the words and... Right, so basically he repeats um, physics. Which heal spell are you telling him how to do, incidentally? Uh, it was going to be a mod to it, I think. If you can't do a moderate, then we'll try one lower. But <laughs> okay. Um, so he, in Gnomish, he utters the verbal components of the spell. He mimics physic almost exactly, and absolutely nothing happens. Should you do it yet? Uh, hold on. He's, he's, he's having some trouble with one, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, try... Uh, uh, is it Cure Minor? Okay. Um... For he does the same thing and the same result. Nothing. Hey. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I. I mean, you can hear him speaking, so you know he's speaking in gnomish. He's not obviously uttering oh. your your spell. Um, your spells. I don't think you're doing it right. We'll try it later. Doesn't matter. He says, "Well, I, I did it exactly as I um, recall Physic doing it." Mm. <laughs> while, the, while, while that's going on, I just look at Jash and give him a... Bubble. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then I go silent. <laughs> I don't want Ned to see it, but okay. I'm just going to keep working on what I'm working on while smiling to myself and listening okay. to Mary right, be So, like, I, I, what are you working on? Are you working on that gun? Yes. Alrighty. Trying to fix Delph's okay. gun. So uh, you're rooting through your toolbox looking for parts that you can mold and utilize to fix. Okay, yeah, I mean, you'll have the parts. It'll just come down to the engineering role in a minute. All right. Okay, yeah, so you're going to continue to work on that while you guys uh, feel free to chit-chat amongst yourselves. Or if you're ready to all just go to sleep, tell me that. Obviously, we're going to have some things to look over and talk about with regards to what we're doing from here. Yeah, like not going back there, right? No, we have to go back. Perhaps we should talk about this when we're not on the brink of death. Maybe after some rest. I feel perfectly fine. I, I honestly, I think we should talk about it now. <sighs> okay, okay. I mean, at least now we're all alert and awake, even though it's dark and. Chain the worm to Norman. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have to go back. Norman's like. 
I I I don't want to go back. No, no oh. offense, Marigold. Uh, I but I mean we can't just go home, you know. With regard to our mission, before we can go home, we need proof uh, that she didn't make it, and um, if she did survive the crash, with those around, she wouldn't be at the crash still, I don't think. Um, well, that's we've for sure. turned over a couple of bodies beforehand, and she didn't seem to be there. Uh, I think maybe we should try and uh, track around the outside, see if we can find other footprints or other evidence of presence, because we know there's a there's a an orc tribe somewhere nearby that has other artifacts, and that there are other places we could look. Uh, maybe if we take a, a a wide angle around, and we don't we don't disturb that. Very well. Don't you have some sort of spell that you can use? I mean, you've met Cecilia before. Tra maybe to locate her, or at least get an idea of where she may be. A direction? Some divination? Uh, I have all grades what I've used in the past. Uh, uh, maybe yeah. it only divination. works. Divination. I do have divination. Maybe it would be something that only works on objects? I don't know. Mm. Not a priest. <laughs> it's, uh. I. Don't then again. Have any uh, I don't have any more incense. Incense. Right. Yes. What? That's just like sticks I, or something, I, right? I, Find that. It, just sticks. <laughs> Smelly sticks. Well, it's it's basically <laughs> just sticks. It really it really is. It's what Rush said. We can find you some special sticks, and maybe you can ask Trithiron to bless them or something. Uh, I could I could just make you some darn incense if that's what you need, but I'm not about to burn any anywhere near those things. I could probably smell it. Right. And and, and if you can't track a person, may, maybe she has something on her that she would always have, maybe? Girls do that kind of thing, right? Like, they have jewelry or keepsakes or... I mean, I, I have my studs that I always wear, so... I look down at my armor... I guess I do have a keeps a keepsake. I don't know what she would have though. When was the last time you oh, Dice Pain still closed? Spoke with her. Well we we were good friends as kids growing up, but once we reached the age mm. of marriage around fourteen, <laughs> I uh <laughs> you know, when we were grown women. <laughs> What the and what? Shammy Rin, thanks for the resub as well, buddy. Thank you, dude. Much love. Take your pants off, hit the height. By fencing and thanks and to uh, Bl uh, to uh, Park and Seal and to Snow Wolf Axe for those uh, resubs as well. Thanks, guys. I got very into my fencing and uh, uh, cleric lessons, so <laughs> didn't talk much after that. So, uh, I was hoping maybe you guys had kept in touch and, I don't know, maybe you had seen, like, I don't know, what do what do people exchange in our colonists when they're getting married, Core? Is it a ring? Do they get rings in our Incense. <laughs> incense. How many people have you married then, Mary? Because you had a lot of incense on it. <laughs> Just look at that rock he gave, gave her and, like, maybe you would have seen it or something. Perhaps a few things, but not that I can remember right now. Right. Gore? Yeah? What about <laughs> the player in me is like, throw us a ball. Nice. They, they traded friendship right now. Incense? What are you talking about? <laughs> is there anything that um, Cecilia carried on her, like, all her life, like a necklace or a ribbon? You or... probably didn't know her well enough to know that. But we are best friends as little kids. As little Maybe. kids, yeah, but <laughs> that was like little kids. Fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was like two weeks ago, Ned time. <laughs> In Ned World, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Jash, you and myself don't want to return there. Marigold, you do. No. 
Why would we go back there? We know what's waiting for us. There's no reason to go back. Then traveling across, yes, this whole stupid jungle is for nothing. If we don't get evidence, something. What if we just uh, made some evidence? No. Why not? Are you kidding me? Lying. We could have just. Could it look. Like, why not? Well, Josh, I, no offense. I know you're only in this for the money, but Marigold's in it for more than that. And I think I can. I mean, I don't want to speak for Physic, but. I've already gotten more than what I came here for. Well, let's be honest. She's probably dead. Right? I would think so. So what will be the point of us going in there and us being dead as well? Have you ever had someone that you really cared about? No. (laughs) (laughs) And that's that. (laughs) Right. Don't know why I asked you that question. (coughs) Thanks for the cheer, Shammy, buddy. Uh, I, I, I have my parents and, you know, older sister, younger brother, and two younger brothers and, you know... Back, back home, yeah. <laughs> I okay. care about them. Well, let's m- maybe not a person then, Josh. I figured what if, you were a second born. <laughs> is there an, I don't a mean thing about. or something that you would really like to have or you think you would treasure? I'll look at Josh's treasure eyes. Treasure? Yeah, that's what I would treasure. <laughs> More treasure. He's very literal. Okay, if we're not going to return to the dirigible right Stop away, Stop it. I I don't I'm not against circling it for tracks or something else. We can start there, but if we don't find anything, we need to go deeper. And we will if we have to. All right, let me any tracks. Oh. Which okay. way are we going to go deeper? Well, we know it's not the way we've come. So, north or to the east of the ship, right? Because we so, went southwards. So and you want to you want to just blindly wander around in this forest? Yeah, we're going to be smart about it this time. We know what we're facing. Well, I feel like we say that every single time, and we well, never know what we're facing. Well, now, physic has that one spell. Now that we know kind of what's around the area, and okay. we understand how it finds us, I could potentially just throw down that that casting so that we're all undetectable and by some margin uh if we travel cautiously and in smaller amounts throughout the day um instead of covering as much ground as we have we're already here we don't need to cover much more ground we need to carefully scrounge about and find any information we can um if we're careful about it we can cover small areas not be detected and not have to deal with constant danger as much, I guess. Uh, Every time we've been near a cataclysmic event for our group here, it's been because we've been noticed, and uh, the first the first advice of the elves and the not so much the humans, they travel in larger groups, was to go about being unnoticed. I think that's kind of the key to it here. Uh, Josh is right. We're always running into things that we don't expect. And all we can really do is prepare for what we can expect, the things that we have encountered and that we do know are out there, and we, we get do up as have, we go. We do have the issue of, uh, well, at the dirigible, we know that there are at least four more of those things, right? There are two that were put to sleep by Rush, and then two that we entangled while we were running away. Correct? Mm-hmm. There's at least four more. There's at least four more. We defeated a total of somewhere near 12. Somewhere about a dozen. Really? Something like oh, that. Uh, if you if you include the ones that we ten. had immobilized, then I would I would say so. If we had won against the larger group, we would have been able to finish off the uh, unable to fight. Is my logic. Right, um, Rush, go ahead and give me your engineering role on repairing that pistol. I mean, uh, that rifle. This is where we're... <laughs> I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I clicked it when anything happened. I uh, don't know. That can't be good. 
Did you have your shelf <laughs> clipped? It was your shelf, yeah. I see a white box. For oh, okay. It's asking me for dice panel. panel. Yeah, because I cleared. Because uh, oh, okay. I cleared it. Uh, there you go. Oh, twenty-five. Okay, yeah, no nice. problem. Um, Damn. It's not a problem. You you very easily, you know, um, with a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of rework, um, very easily replace the hammer, firing pin, and the flash pan. No problem. Good as I new. I was the worst engineer at the guild. I was just appeared to be because I couldn't control myself. That's fine. <laughs> So, so tomorrow you cast that spell, Physic, and then we travel north of here and then northeast and try to find some tracks? Yeah. Uh, try to work our way around it. And to uh, oh. Jash, I might not be the strongest person here, but I did promise to help you with that cache of gold we found in that scorpion cave, right? On the way back. Oh yeah, with the claw. Yeah, that's right. So you better you, stick to that. Well, I only stick to that if we split that down the middle, you and me, and you come with us not to the dirigible, but north and do the track finding. What do you say? Leave it there. Now you want fifty percent. <laughs> well, yeah. If I'm lugging it with you, that's half the work. You think you're gonna lug fifty percent of it, you? <laughs> with you involved, yes. So how about 70, 30? I got a family that I need to take care of, who I do care about. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 68, 32. What are we talking about? <laughs> uh, Josh, Josh, I might uh, afford to speak your language here. Uh, I could what? make the climb significantly easy for, easier for you. Significantly easier. It's a trick I used earlier with Rush to get up uh, the, the mountainside, rather. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. To get up the mountainside. <laughs> to get up the mountainside. It was fun. To get up the mountainside. Okay. Um, okay. We've eaten lots, lots worse than spiders. It was cool. Uh, basically, <laughs> it'll allow you to carry much more up once we get there. If that's what, any interest what, to you. But what about carrying it to the point of getting there? I got a big old backpack. You got a bunch of friends here. And once we're done with this, we're just going to be working our way out of here. All right, how about yeah, 60, 40? 60, 40 sounds fair. 60, and we're all getting whoa, 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 whoa. Who's getting the 40? You, Physic, or me? Cecilia's Dude. out there dying! I kind of agree She's with already Mario. Dead. <laughs> can, we, can we not yell they have hearing? <laughs> Look, talk of splitting up gold. So I'm, I'm not from a really wealthy family, but we're pretty well off. Uh, if we make it back to the city, you can have my share. Uh, Marigold, if Damn. you may. I'm just going to like gesture to the side like me for a second. It's never been about the money. Yeah, yeah you can have mine. <laughs> deal. <laughs> you got a deal. Uh, Marigold. I'm trying to like I'm trying to basically just like to the side without talking to the others while they're spieling about money. It's not <laughs> it's not so much that the money's important at all because it's not. But it's what's important to Josh. It's what fuels him. And if we can use that to fuel him, we can use him to our benefit. If we don't do that, then he's just gonna go against us. Yeah, it's slowing him down. It's making him a less. Per it's just dis it's destroying his character. That's, but that's him. <laughs> that's his. That's his walk in life. And if yes, we get in the way of him walking, he's going to walk through us. He's big and scary. I'm bigger and scarier than him. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> certain certain days, but. <laughs> oh, that came out. Oh, what I mean. What I mean to say is. There's no benefit in fighting our friends. I don't want to fight him. I I just know I've seen and it's just a little and, yeah. something in him that likes more than just money. I know it. Yeah, he really likes to fight, too. Yeah, he likes to fight. I guess that might be what I'm seeing, but also even something smaller than that. Uh, like does, he like a, with. does he does he have like a, a newt or something that I can... <laughs> Cause I'm not catching it. But uh regardless, uh, it's what it's what matters to him and I don't care about it. He can have whatever I'm being paid. I uh, I'm probably not coming back up, honestly, at this Wait, point. 
No. No, I don't think I don't yeah. think I can. After everything I've seen down here and by yourself, you're going to you want to survive. You need somebody. And we gotta kind of look at Ned for a second. Okay. And I, He's sitting there, Ned's sitting there, like, very intently listening to everybody. Like, it's <laughs> like he's absorbing everything you're all saying. Okay. I'm gonna Ned. be shining up Dalek's gun and being like, now, be more gentle with it. Treat it like a woman. <laughs> I, I had to drop it a few times, you know. <laughs> hence the dings on, you know, the... Uh, I mean, I guess some women like it rough, but take it... Take it a little bit easier. Maybe don't drop it so hard. Maybe, you know, let it down to the ground a little. Rush, you know the fights we've had. I mean, I'm not just going to, like, gently lay it on the ground and cushion <laughs> it with velvet and, and grass. I mean, <laughs> you should. Well, no, I, I'm saying just you can be firm. Just don't be so rough. I mean, you see me with Jerusha. You don't see me just, like, freaking fastballing her at things. <laughs> You, that's not true. You have thrown it a few times. But, yeah, but she knew And then you did that thing. <laughs> then, then you did that thing with that orc in the cave. Uh, ballsy, I might say, but thank God we got out of that one. I mean, <clears throat> she knew it was coming. Your gun doesn't. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with you. It's it's been a long she, day. You know, she can she can cushion herself a little bit. Your gun's just kind of just got to lay there, man. So, <laughs> well, it was also, it, it, to be fair, it was also manhandled by a snake charming creep. That's who, true. He was a manhandler. <laughs> um. <laughs> who, who decorated it in tribal crap. Uh, but yes, I, I'll I'll try to be more gentle with it, and stow it, but it just slowed me down in the combat. But yeah, I just I, mean, I don't I, have I don't have a lot of more spare parts to keep replacing things. Uh. Point being, Marigold, if I return back to the city and have to listen to that poncely cuckold talk down on the people who I've valued more in my life than anyone else for falling, doing his dirty work, I'll probably burn the entire city down. Well, screw him. It's it's people like you that we need there, all right? On the other side, facing I, the nobles. And I think we need me down here making a way to get out from their hold. Could you? With Ned, you mean? Yeah. Uh, we, we've we seen what it's like in two different versions of uh, a form of society down here. It, it is feasible. It can be done. And with the technology from up there, we we can pretty easily reacclimate to the, to the lands below the clouds. It wouldn't be hard to come back down here. In theory, at least. Hey, hey, hey guys. Hello? What? Uh, I have a question. Don't, <laughs> okay. Don't shoot me. Um, I'm the only one with a gun. You're good. <laughs> well, I, I mean to say, I would talk about this. Uh, when, when we were with uh, that elf chick, what was her name again? Which what one? She, the one, Alessa, right? Or is it Alessa? Or... Yeah, yeah Aless Alessi was the one that we... Alessi. Sorry, I'm not good with names. We had a strategy to all be ranged for a moment in time to get an opening salvo off. And maybe that's something we should employ more to at least weaken any potential enemy before getting into the melee like you, Jash. You know? So, what do you guys think? That's not a bad idea by any means. Well, well you're a druid, you're a master woodsman, and you're an engineer. Could we perchance make some bows that we could all utilize and use? For the beginning, or would that take too long? I, I'm just asking. It, it might be a little troubling to find some like sinuous, fibrous plants that are strong enough to actually make a good, sturdy bow out of. But if Gora, we're not looking are, for strength, Gora is is are bows and arrows something that we would have had much experience with up? Um, you guys mostly it was more crossbows and you know um, crossbows and for the for the military and the wealthy was firearms so. I mean that bow. I mean that would literally come under bow your Fletcher as an actual skill. It wouldn't really be engineering. Okay. I do That's what I thought. That you gave me in the caves. Right, and I still have this orc longbow. 
and the gun. But didn't you make some? Didn't um, did you get Ned a bow at some point? He got a short bow. Yeah, so yeah, Ned has a short bow. A Nagashi short bow, right? Yeah. No. Which looks cool, but it's just kind of regular. Yeah. <laughs> Physic doesn't. And his arrowheads are bone. <laughs> He has his controlling <coughs> spells from a distance. And, and Rush has some uh, some spells as well that could be useful right. in whittling down our enemies. I mean... No, it's just Jash. Why you make just Jash? <laughs> Jash, how's that throwing army yours? Really good. Maybe get about 95 miles per hour with this bad boy. <laughs> 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 I'm going to take out my crossbow and hand it to him. I okay. can throw well, things really fast. Maybe we could sharpen some javelins for him, and like as things are closing the gap, he'd still be armed. Javelin. You know, That's... you think you could throw a pointy stick? So we get sticks with the essences that we need to sal salvage, right? I mean, That's, that that one's a lot easier than a bow, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take yes. a bow back then. Yeah, give Jash like three or four javelins that he chucks. And... Ah, what if uh? To help with some of this, physic. I mean, you were, you followed alchemy closer than I did. I guess that was just something they expected us to do as gnomes. But yeah. you could make poisons or some sort of. Yeah, I, I still have, and I'm gonna like start digging my backpack. I have like a lot of venom. Just about everything down here is venomous, so there's a lot of. It. <laughs> I mean, because then I even a snack in there. even though it may not do a lot of damage at first, it could. Uh, the we bottle, them up for us. Just so you know, if anybody's looking for a snack in my backpack, the bottles with the green corks are bad. Okay. Green means go. No, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. And, and I was thinking also, uh, Rush, um, I noticed you have a tendency to fall down when you shoot your pistol. I know <laughs> it, it takes a lot out of you when, while well, you are... Well, hair aside, short. Um, perhaps. Not where it counts, buddy. When Just we saying. get. I, I, that's no question. The ladies at the Agashi tribe, you said as much. Perhaps when we do this opening salvo, you can stand in front of one of our bigger guys and. Take the hits? Nice. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be the most comfortable thing to butt your head against, but. Well, I mean, I'm about three foot three. I gotta make sure that I <laughs> don't want to hurt one of us. Uh, I mean, I don't have to hold a weapon. I could probably stand behind and brace. So, so that we both get knocked over. <laughs> I was about to say, that is the most adorable Maybe. I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I mean, it would definitely give you a bonus to the roll. Maybe. If you've got, if you've got physics standing with his legs kind of behind and... Panned on your back, ready the to The enemy start. will <laughs> laugh so hard that they will or laugh. and we see what that can do. <laughs> can't you and they can't you make a brace or something? You know, like how struts go up against a wall or dam. You, you build. <laughs> build you myself a brace. Cost? <laughs> you build like a little stand, that you, like a tripod, that like you a ball. tripod, yeah. <laughs> little, little gnomish. <laughs> just will it in, and, and just be like, hey, over here, and then I'm just wrap myself in. Something, so, something like something like what, the, what they do with the dirigibles, where they put the uh, the sandbag on it to, buddy, to buffer the uh, to buffer the impact at docking. You know, take how the they pants have, like, off, the, hit the hype. Uh, maybe something <laughs> like that would. Yeah, just drag a sandbag around. But I mean, we go, we approach, we scout tomorrow. We go north with the spell. If we see any danger, we get in a line and we buff it, you know. And then maybe one of you guys who can heal gets behind to keep the the people alive, and then the flanks. Obviously, Ned will be on the, you know, and we can kind of go in like a, a formation or something, not just a marching orders, but a formation. <laughs> An actual fight. Beyonce for style. <laughs> sure. No. I don't know this artist, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what do you what do you think? I mean, that would make <laughs> fights go smoother, maybe. I'm always willing to be towards the, the front and heel until I until I die. I'm willing, always. You know that. Okay, but you can't you can't die and heal. 
I'm going to try to not die. I'll heal myself occasionally if I can. But you do come first. Uh, Rush, you're an engineer. <laughs> Maybe we could work this like a machine, yeah? <laughs> and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start like walking out, and I'm going to draw like a grid in the ground with my foot. <laughs> so if we were to put Jash in front here, uh, for the obvious reason. <laughs> He's like, bigger. He can take more hits. <laughs> both. <laughs> and then, um, and then, and then maybe uh, we could flank with with uh, We could put. Oh shoot! This, we're we're an even number, which is making this more difficult. Uh, the original flank, since the we the gnomes being smaller, we could probably fit between. But that would make it hard to stand behind and brace. I know what you're thinking, Rush. No, not that kind of. Um. Uh, if we had uh, like Amelia and Jash standing next to each other, Amelia could slide behind Jash if things got bad and continue. Amelia. To Oh shoot! I'm so sorry. Oh wow. <laughs> Amelia's dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What a heartless thing to say, God. Oh, Mar 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 Marigold, I'm so sorry. I... No, it's fine. If if you said Danny, and I'd be in straight tears. I didn't know Amelia. Oh, the dead ones. Yes, of course. No, just call them the dead ones. <laughs> just the ones gonna that are look at walking the Rainbow but, Bridge to eternity. Okay, but I mean, what? like we have Jash stand in the front with Amelia and Ned right behind him, but to the, his right and left respectively. You have Physic in the middle of them, be right behind Jash, and then Rush. You and I will stay at the back line for our. Melee weapons, I mean, our ranged weapons and your spells. But of course, we will have to keep vigilant on our sides and rear in case we get flanked. Uh, Josh! <laughs> so sorry, it's, it's a bit boring. But see, then, then if we call out that there's trouble from the sides or rear, Marigold and Ned will be able to pivot and turn in that direction. <laughs> and we could collapse inward to, to Physic, and then you can be on the outside on the back and rear. You see, what I'm, see where I'm going with this? Jash, you, you follow? Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Um, do, right. do you want to Do you want to <laughs> maybe physically act this out? Maybe? Yes. I, I, know, I know a lot of us, uh, there's different learning styles, and it might, might help. Okay, so... Let's, let's role play this one. All role right. play within <laughs> a role play. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. Okay, get... say there's a monster coming from here towards us. I got it! <laughs> no, Cash, no, Cash, no. <laughs> That's not what we discussed. Back up, back up. Oh, 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 oh. You, you realize you've got your back to the monster? Oh, there you go. Instinct. <laughs> All right, but, you know, we do we do the ranged firing line first okay, before so... we devolve to the, you know, the next step. Range firing line, go! Um... Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, behind. I'm so so here. Ned will be here, and Marigold will be here. Physical will be he right there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mar there you go, Ned. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be like this, and then we'll all shoot with the ranged, and then this will be how we fight with Marigold and Ned closer to Jash's sides if needed, you know, if there's more enemies. And then, not right at his ass, okay. <laughs> and then if anything happens, Marigold's, you, target, you go this way, and Ned will go this way, depending on the side, the location. And Rush will collapse inward, I'll collapse inward, so then we can be behind you. You see, you see what I'm saying? That's if we're getting flanked. And then from there, we'll be good to go. So... Uh, for firing, I can't <laughs> see car. past this, and I'm going to gesture to the entirety of Jash. <laughs> <laughs> this um, big thing. So for like... firing, we do like a line, like a firing line, like you saw, so, you know, that you see them do with the city of Azermire. So you know? for for falling back into formation, should I start next to Jash and between Jash and Ned here? Yes. And then Ned would be probably flanked out a little further. Excuse me, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the for the beginning, we get in a line with. No, Ned, with... Ned you'd be up. Yeah, you'd be up next to me. 
Yeah. <laughs> there we'll do go. the line. If the enemy is coming from this direction, yes. And then we'd all fire, and if we have more time, we'll fire again, and then we'll we'll fall back into our first defensive position, and then if we're getting flanked, we do the rotation, the collapse. Hmm. Great. <laughs> there you go. So what's the rotation okay. again? Like this. <laughs> I move out this way, and then then, then I just no do no what? no no no. You you stay uh, you, you stay yeah there, and then we make. We make something like a, a a pentagonal thing. That's against my religion. <laughs> no, no, pentagonal, not oh. pentagonal. <laughs> pentagonal, <that>? not pentagonal. <laughs> yeah, no. If 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 we are getting flanked, Rush and I will be the vanguard. We will say flank right, flank left. You just have to move out slightly to intercept it while. And Ned would on his end if we needed. Intercept. While Rush and I collapse inwards to Physic. Mm. So you get... stay in front of us on the side if that was needed. Gotcha. So all I gotta do is just stay. <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if you Ned win. Ned walks up and pats Jash on the back. If you win, Jash, you can rotate and we can. Shift accordingly, but you know the initial onslaught. Uh, yeah. Okay, just making sure we're on the same page. But but that way, Physic can get his spells off, and Rush could too. And you know, Physic spells are beneficial to us, so he would be in touch range. And if he needs to be offensive, you know, he's he's cushioned by uh, human asses, basically. <laughs> I'm I mean, used to it. Don't want to sugarcoat it. <laughs> Nature's cushion. Oh. After listening to all this, Ned just looks at you and says, Seems straightforward enough. <laughs> so so we sleep tonight, we rest up, we heal up, we make some javelins if it's easy to do, right? Physic, and then... Yeah, I'll go find some sticks. I'll we head some watch north. Should, should start on the javelins. We head northwards and uh, try to find some tracks. Go north of the dirigible site, and that's what we do. Right. We're coming, Cecilia. Do I have any spells left at all that might help make spears? Yeah, do y'all have anything that you want to... I mean, the javelin, it's just find something it's fairly straight, stick. sharpen yeah. it, and... Hurt. I mean, an improvised javelin, basically, it's just going to have less range. Okay. So, It'll but I mean, it still gets that beautiful strength bonus of yours, yeah. But it's still gonna, yeah, yeah it's still gonna get the strength bonus because it's how hard you chuck it that matters. So, yeah, you know, he, he's just gonna obviously hard. javelins. <laughs> the things are virtually breathing down on you before you get to hurl them. And as fast oh. as you know these things move, I mean, he's only gonna get one, prob realistically, probably get one round of missile fire with javelins anyway. We'll, we'll we'll do one opening salvo. So, but I mean, hey, everything helps, right? So, and with yeah, the poison too. This didn't cover if they were sur to surround us on all sides, which usually happens. Uh, focus fire the most damage. You get them. Do we all, all rotate as a unit, like a wheel? A wheel. A <laughs> <laughs> wheel. Uh, the the <laughs> 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 Uh, the issue with that is that leaves a lot of openings at the sides, and we're probably going to take more damage rotating as a wheel than we would if we just, <laughs> surround, if we just surrounded individual enemies at that point. Um, try and focus down. Uh, if you're casting, um, especially uh, for you, Rush, if, if we both recede to the middle when something gets hairy, we can deal out more damage from there. Uh, yeah, um... Just as a side, this is only for beasties and things that are not smart enough to, uh, well, yeah. deal a lot of damage all at once on all of us. So if we encounter Surround anything us, that can blow us up, we need to scatter, and that's a different strategy altogether. And these things we were up against last time, I should mention, they were highly intelligent predators. So they would surround us. Um, if they knew we were there. Okay. So would it be smarter to stay together or scatter? 
if we stay together, we can help each other out. If we scatter, if someone becomes vulnerable at any point, they're basically dead. So wouldn't it would it be back to back? Yeah, we we do back to back. Uh, worst case, it would be you know Jash, Marigold, Ned, and myself with you between us all, and we just be like directional, like a compass, you know, with you in between helping the ankles. And I would resort to my my throwing axes just in melee if desperate, which would probably mean I'd have to drop my rifle if I had to be quick. I prefer to be in the middle. <laughs> so, but yes, I mean, if we were truly surrounded, the humans would be the compass points, directions, and then you guys would be between us, and that would be the safest. I feel. All right. But for now, I think we should heal up, rest up, and get ready for tomorrow. All right. Well, and, Ned uh, has no problem, um, you know, proper, finding himself a tree to pop up against. Um, he looks at you and he says, um, would you like me to stay awake for several hours to keep watch while you get rest? Uh... Are you saying you won't be able to sleep tonight? Um, well, no, but... I think at least uh, some of us should keep our eyes open, and... Yes, While I don't see particularly well, it's clear that um, both you and Rush, who normally are the first ones to, uh, as you have better vision than us, normally you volunteer, but clearly you're both seriously uh, tired and diminished and must get rest. I can at least see the edges of the shadow, should anything come, and my hearing seems to be quite good. Uh, that's a good note. Um, do, yeah. <laughs> do do uh, we have any healing physic or marigold, or are you guys spent? I think uh, marigold I, was down to... she had her one-pointers left. Yeah, I have a one-pointer. <laughs> so we're gonna be roughing it, because I am... Um, I can do a right heal first. check over everybody real quick, and I'll give okay. you the extra one plus your level. So that'll be eight. Which so we you'll all use. get eight points with a successful heal check. Um, I mean, so Marigold I can drop her one pointers if you want. I mean, it's your choice. No. Well, you can no. keep them just in case you get attacked <laughs> in the night. <laughs> Go on, use them. What arm can it do? Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, just looking around, Jesh said he's fine, so I'm not gonna bother with him. Uh, but who's who's looking bad? Who's looking bad? Um, I'm only down about ten. Oh I'm dang! Down. He doesn't have yeah. many in the first place. Remember? <laughs> um, yeah. Just give us one extra one tomorrow. I'm I'm pretty bruised and okay. So, Ned, Ned's but I mean, down. it's not like Ned's I look below bad. half. Okay, so also Ned. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm down more than half for myself. So I'll start so. Dalith and I'll just kind of go around. Okay. Skipping Jash. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> you could just give him a once over. Oh, uh, there so you go. Nothing for, so Dalith gets nothing, nothing trouble. What the flukable? <laughs> what the so what you get? Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Um, you just get getting, nothing. The, getting these out of the way. Getting these out of the way. Uh oh. This is from Marigold. Low ones. There gets better. a point. Yay! And then for Ned. Yeah! Oh, Ned, Ned loses a point. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do you have two oh, ones? <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, like, oh, is this where it hurts, Ned? Ow! <laughs> Huh. And it suddenly starts to drip blood again. Squeaks like little girl when in minor pain. Acts like a total beast when in actual pain. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna go pray. up in a tree. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Watching out for any vines. And oh, beasts that could uh, be in I the mean, trees. You've been, vines. <laughs> quite honestly, if there were any vines that were any of those strangulation vines, the way you were just running through the forest, they would have probably gotten you all by now anyway. So, um, okay. 
you're probably safe from vines. <laughs> it seems like they're probably not any. Okay. All right, let's go in our respective trees and try to sleep. Alrighty. Oh man, these are easy to climb. <laughs> <coughs> All right, yeah, they're fir trees. I mean, you can't climb very high because the branches get too flimsy near the top. But um, you know, like shelves. Yeah. All right, so you all rest up. Um, who does Ned? You, who does Ned want? Who do you guys want Ned to wake up second after he does his first watch? Uh, probably me. Okay. So as long, as long as as soon as I can see, since I don't really need to recover spells or anything, probably me. All right. Okay. Um. So yeah. So Ned does the first half of the watch, and then probably about five hours in, um, you feel something push, prodding the bottom of your boot. And you look down and see that Ned's Ooh. like just giving you a, a nudge with the edge of his, the tip of his scimitar. All right, all right, I got it. So I'll climb down. All right, and take the next watch. Okay, and Ned positions himself kind of underneath, underneath the uh, physic tree. <laughs> oh, oh physic mommy tree. and son. <laughs> it's like it's like giving tree. He's gonna cut me down. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Um. So, fortunately for you, nothing nasty or foul finds you, which, of course, you didn't light a fire, and your scent was hidden. So, unless anything literally just stumbled across this minute clearing in this vast forest, um, there was very little chance of everything noticing you. So, um, yeah, you managed to get a fully peaceful night. Um, the morning doth come. Marigold, you obviously are in a fit state to pray to Tritherion. To recharge yes. and bless you with the with his gifts. Um, everybody will be up um, seven points on the health scale. Yay, I'm slightly hey. less close to death. <laughs> and of course you have a full complement of um, healing spells from those that wish to use them. Okay. Oh boy, I gotta prepare my spells. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, um... I'm going to do a light. A so, light the first thing you guys notice um, when you wake up is um, <clears throat> the forest seems a little bit cheerier today. You can hear a few birds chirping. Um, it's nowhere. It's, it doesn't seem to be quite as drab as it has been the last several days. And it wasn't really that you noticed it was drab, it's just you noticed that there's a lot more birds singing today. So we killed nine of those things. <laughs> that actually could be part of it. No. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh. That was for myself, but. Wow. Yeah. It's All rough. Right. Um, you scroll down. All right. So you get. So you use one cure minor on yourself. Um, <coughs> that was a cure that light. That should say cure light wounds. It should it's say. Cure. I was about. Uh, that's exactly what I was looking at. I was like, wait a minute. That's a hell of a cure minor. What the heck? Yeah, it should <laughs> say right. cure light wounds. <laughs> yeah, let me change that. Yeah. Cure um, okay. So light. you use one cure light. So you heal yourself for six. Tritherion just obviously hasn't. You caught him in the middle of yawning. Oh, uh, well, I'm already expected to do stuff out here. <laughs> Let's uh, have a quick breakfast and. All right. Okay, so uh, you start getting your food and everything ready. Um, can let's see. Is everybody still up in their trees right now? Yeah, yeah. that's where it's easiest for me to uh, connect. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the ground. So. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're on the ground, give me a. Um, that would be a spot check. Oh, not the best one for me. Let's see. Hey. Uh, there you go, Dallas. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Josh doesn't really pay much attention to anything, really. <laughs> I know, I never do. <laughs> um, Dallas and Rush notice that um, Ned has a pretty, uh, a pretty um, thick beard beginning to grow that was not there yesterday. <laughs> like he's probably got three or four days of beard growth, and he looks at you. He says, "Oh my." God, I'm so hungry this morning. Uh, well, well, See, we got spent all those calories growing that manly beard there. This is beard. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh my. Uh, 
uh, Ned, we are, uh, we're accustomed to strange, so, uh, have some of my rations, I'll eat sparingly, I mean, right. get a little if extra. if you remember, here. he's actually, his metabolism had slowed down to normal, pretty much, and he'd started mm-hmm. eating more like you, when all of a sudden today, it seems to have just kicked back into overdrive. Oh, no. Um, Thanks for it. <laughs> as he <coughs> heartily, if you if you're sure, if, if you're not going to eat that, it, it, and no, he no. starts wolfing down your rations. I, I'm going to go to the physic tree, which just sounds dirty, and I'm just going to like shake the branches that physic is on as he's praying. <laughs> he and falls back. Yeah, I'm not. Well, um, got a minute. <laughs> I'm kind of in the middle of something here, buddy. Well, you could finish in a minute. No, I, it needs to be. Hold, hold on. <laughs> Open eye doesn't care. You're come on. Please. He doesn't. Like he that. doesn't care, but it matters. <laughs> yeah, you can't just stop in the middle. <laughs> There's a differentiation. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'll be over here with a uh, rush when you're done. Not a morning person. Uh. Oh, so I'm gonna wait for physic to finish. All right. And I'm eyeing Ned very warily. Right, well, Ned eats his rations and the majority of yours. And he says, well, um, well, uh, if I see any berries or anything like that or edible plants, I'll uh, just have to grab those. Good. <laughs> Come on, physic. Just, just one more, one more quick. Okay, and then I'm gonna jump down. <laughs> right. Okay. Carefully and not in any way which would harm me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna move back here. Um, I'm just gonna go right up to him. Yeah. You know, oh, I, my I, cankles. What's, what's the? He's growing again. <laughs> Gr- more? What? What is he tall? I'm just gonna. Oh well, well, no, but his hunger is back. That doesn't match the graph. <laughs> graph? <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been tracking his growth. He, uh, <laughs> needless to say, and uh, it, it basically, he, he he leveled out at at the yeah. camp there. He leveled yeah. out for a minute. But, but but people, when they get older, they get slower and. More charismatic for sure, but weaker in every sense. You know, like you're saying he's middle aged now. Hey, he clearly he's still <laughs> young. <laughs> you don't eat more when you get older, so this is something new. This is not just about age yeah, and growth. Uh, this is. It might be his newfound magical aptitude. Maybe his body adjusts to what he needs to be. He, he tried healing magics and couldn't do them yesterday. But, but... So you eat more than non-magical gnome druid people? Well, I would eat more if I had to physically change my entire body to do so. So he's going to turn into a creature? No. Why did you assume that? He gets more more hair. (laughs) Is it fur-like hair or just hair hair? No, what is Dallas intelligence I mean, he's just... It's basically just he went from having a clean, (laughs) shaven face... To probably four days of growth, so he's got a fairly thick right. line of bright blonde chin hair. See, I, I, I might be stereotyping Why? the idea that all druids have beards, but um, because <laughs> <laughs> every single one I know does, but uh, except for that one lady, but she didn't look very Jewish. What? Focus, focus. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. What what I, what I mean to say is, uh, if, if he if he's if he's eating more again, it it's either he's going to go through another growth spurt, which in this case wouldn't be growing aging much as spurt. aging, yeah, um, or he's got some kind of internal thing going on where he's growing to be more the way he ought to be. We don't know exactly why he grows, if there's a causality or if it if it just okay. happens. So either in a couple weeks we're dealing with an old man, or we're dealing with a were creature. I know th- that never came into the picture again, Dallas. We we're either dealing with an older man or a more suitable man for 
performing magics, and I'm sure he's hearing all of this. <laughs> I was going to say, he, he's just walked over. You see him kind of shrug and just walk over, and he stands next to uh, Jash. He leans in and he says, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they talk about us when, like we're not in the room. <laughs> Happens all the time, actually. <laughs> And while I'm at it, Jash is such a big guy. <laughs> I really like how he's able to fight things that I can't physically. Yeah? You were, wait, no, no. Physically, don't yes, don't do that. Don't know what you're doing. Don't do it. You Snow Wolf, thanks for the cheer, buddy. Can we compliment you? Won't happen no, again, buddy. <laughs> no, I know what he's doing. He's pay, pay, pa patronizing me. But in the good way, and yeah, I'm just gonna I walk up word. and pat him on the it. back. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> uh, Ned, I, I don't mean to offend you. It's oh, it, just... it it doesn't offend me at all. I just we're just Ned, we're concerned. I like to listen. I, I don't understand gonna... what's happening to me any more than you do. So uh, if, if you, you have ideas, I I like to uh, absorb just in case um, it's anything I need to worry about. Well, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you heard a lot of it, but whenever you eat a lot, it's usually because you're growing or, or maturing in a way, uh, and we're concerned because that might mean you are aging very quickly again. Well, uh, I mean, I haven't eaten since yesterday morning, so I was pretty famished, and we mm. did do an awful lot of running and an awful lot of fighting. It He's could not be wrong. That. Could be a lot of energy. He did burn the, a lot of calories. The man the beard. escaping. Yeah. He says, the yes, beard this, was kind of sudden. So this Man's is this again is uh, the faster <laughs> than normal <laughs> facial hair growth. Uh, yeah, Doesn't this is, and, and, and he's just going to gesture to his little goatee. He's like, "This is the work of thirty years." <laughs> this is. Oh, I see. And I'm just as hairless as the day I was born. There. So. And how do you how do you keep it in check? Oh, uh, with a comb. Uh, does anybody have such a thing? <laughs> I'm gonna dig in my backpack and pull out my, my beard comb. <laughs> Physic would have a beard uh, He takes it and then you see him like. He says, uh, no, really no, you're gonna, to you're gonna, anything. hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like groom him a little bit. <laughs> just like you got it, you got it. It's really not, it's really not bushy enough to need it yet. Give it a day. He gets done. There's like squirrels. There's like <laughs> a star I'm explaining. On the you gotta, side. you gotta go with the grain with the brush. Otherwise, you're just gonna frizz it up. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Eventually, I'll bring you into the whole wax thing. It might be for you, it might not. Get some <laughs> beard oil, some beard sap from some of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, okay. <laughs> Gore's like, yeah, okay, now what? <laughs> uh, but but point, point, point being that uh, we, just, we just need to keep an eye out on it. And I guess it's... Uh, the mama bear mama in bear. me yeah no uh anyway uh I, I just uh is that another uh expression yeah it's um it, because bears are very territorial animals and they defend their young like none other uh but anyway um when i see something going on with you because i kind of raised you even though you did much of it yourself uh what i mean to say is i worry about you a lot and uh <sighs> When something oh. happens that might be a concern, I kind of res I, I go back to when you were just, I don't know, on the ground in the mud. And <laughs> it, I, I don't think I, I, it's hard for me to think of. If, if you it makes you feel any better, physic, I, I feel fine. Yeah. Uh, I was just hungry this morning, um, but uh, you know I feel fit as a fiddle. Maybe if it'll make you feel any better, physic. Maybe give him checkup. I'm pretty sure his knee's still gonna kick. <laughs> um, it, it, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with him. He just has a beard all of a sudden. I, I mean, I've seen stranger trends. <laughs> I've seen stranger things. <laughs> I, swear I knew she was gonna say it. I would just could, I could smell it. Uh, but regardless, we should probably carry on. Um, so we'll keep an eye on it. Okay. Yes. Um. So we're going back to the dirigible, but from the north. Was that right? 
Well, we're circling around to see what we can find first, and if there are no leads, then we might have to. But don't tell Jash, and I'm going to pat his shield as he's right next to me. Do <laughs> <laughs> <Get away again. laughs> Okay. All right, so you guys want to kind of head in a northeasterly uh -huh. direction to kind of come up and above where the dirigible crash site was? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, every, everybody coming close and then... And All right. Touch um, so basically, <laughs> I'm assuming you want to get to where you can see it from the, the closest tree line from the clearing without kind of going over to it, right? Is that the game plan, um, or...? Wait, I'm going to throw a cure light to yeah. the dash real quick. Yeah, that's okay. more or less, yeah. Yeah. Um, are we going to make shift some javelins first? I assume oh, you did point. that last night. Okay, we did yeah, last. Yeah. So you have three or whatever. Yeah. Hey, how many? Did, how many did I get? Um, okay, marigold heals Jash for eight. Got it. That's it. That's oh yeah. Got. How is Ned That's looking good. this morning? Is it bad? Ah, is it still bad. I mean, he healed. He still has injuries and wounds. He doesn't look terrible. While I was doing that whole talk, I would. Put that on him. All right, so wow. him for six. Okay. Good thing I used it now. <laughs> that was a bad. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys, uh, you head north, um, and uh, obviously from the edge of the tree line, you survey the uh, dirigible crash site. Um, so did you cast um, mm -hmm. your pass without trace yeah. stuff prior to this, or no? Yeah, as we were leaving, I was going. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, you look, you know, you, oh, that's gone, by the way, get rid of that. Poof. Aww, um, like so yeah, you look down, um, you know, here in the late morning, um, you know, obviously it's in the huge clearing where it had crashed and tore through the trees. I mean, it looks peaceful enough. Um. That being said, so it did the first time you approached it <laughs> last time as well. Um, Fireball. You, <coughs> from the <laughs> north here. Um, yeah, you glancing out across it, nothing strikes you as... Uh, other than the very fact that there's a massive crashed airship slash ship in the middle of a forest, nothing really strikes you as uh, extra out of the ordinary. Uh, uh, guys... If those things were predatory and were going to kill us, why are the bodies still intact? Wouldn't they eat them? I mean, I thought you had a low intelligence score. That is actually a good observation. I, I've been known to have that happen, Rush. Thank you for insulting me, by the way. <laughs> but if they're not motivated, <laughs> they might not be motivated by food if they're super intelligent. The, the bodies that we found were already incredibly decayed. It's quite possible that when they showed up, they were already too decayed past the point of eating. And they also True. might hunt live game for the kill. Many, many predators refuse to eat scavenge meals. So, so, so they're sadistic as well. Got it. <laughs> you know, so there, there that. is a chance that if there was a survivor in the wreckage when these things moved in... Could they hide in some part of the ship? Or do you think they would be smelled and spotted? Yeah, I was going to say, if they completely masked their scent and masked their... didn't move, they'd have to be either unconscious or... I don't know, in torpor. I don't know that word. Uh, very small <laughs> very, very small mammals will, uh, will hibernate in a way that's extreme. But okay. we're not dealing with small mammals here, it's... It was supposed to be a hyperbole. I realized that the joke is small. lost. <laughs> when, when was she small? Most when I knew her. Compared to Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Marigold Anybody else see a noose? I see a noose, and I just realized what I'm looking at. Wow. I'm gonna need to check my intelligence score. <laughs> uh, yes, I just noticed that too. Yeah. Um, it's not a vine, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down my little goggles and try and keep a look at what's going on with that. With what specifically? I just, uh, I just mentioned it like there's a noose on that that oh. tree there, but I was also commenting on the fact that I was trying to figure out why there was an actual like ship, like a boat ship, crashed in the middle of the jungle. But that is clearly the bottom of the dirge. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> 
That's exactly right, yes. Wait, it looks, wait. It looks like a set. <coughs> like a trap set. Rush, you're an engineer. That thing with the noose, that beyond the noose, was at the bottom of the ship. The, obviously, the big thing to the north is the blimp part, right? So, who would be at the bottom part of the ship when it's flying? Well, you'd all know that. The crew. Um, basically, so this part. Yeah, because I don't, as a player, know that. Oh, you mean um, so the I'll, I'll, controls the... I'll tell you yeah. guys, because your characters would all know this. Okay. So basically, yeah, you would have, obviously, there's the blimp itself, which right. contains whatever it is that keeps the thing airborne. Hanging down below that is the little, um, like almost like a little cockpit, which typically, yes, is where the, you know, whoever flies the thing would be, which is more often than not gnomes. Um, and okay. then the ship itself is, below is that. where the general crew and the passengers and everybody else would be and the cargo and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Okay. okay. So, I mean, logic, yeah, logic would tell you unless they left and climbed into any of the other parts, Lady Cecilia, being that she was noble, would have probably had some private quarters somewhere yeah, inside yeah. the ship itself. But we, we see no gnomes amongst the dead people that we can see, right? These are uh, well, all the humans. only dead people. Bear in mind, the only dead people that you've actually seen is this one here, this one here, and this one here, because you've really only been okay. You know, um, you guys have actually only been like in this area here. None of you have. Uh, a few of you stuck your head out from the top here, but okay. you haven't explored this area at all, really. So. Obviously, you as players can see a lot more looking down on the map, but your characters haven't seen, you know, a, a lot of this. Okay. But but right now we're we are looking down from from this direction, right? Uh, so right now you're kind of up here. In the yeah, you're kind of what the why wouldn't that draw? Yeah, we're, we're yeah, you're kind of up looking down at the. Uh, at okay. this area here you're like in inside the tree line and there's probably about 150 probably about 150 yards between the tree line and this crash site there could potentially be some useful materials and uh firing uh structure completely on top of the boat <laughs> where the alchemists would be we Josh doesn't want to return. I have a tiny Josh on my screen. I just noticed that. You know, yeah, a little to the right over there. Yeah, he's all the <laughs> way to the right hand side. Uh -huh. Just kind of hanging out in the, the oblivion <laughs> over there. I don't yeah. see. It's super cute. It's like it's real small. <laughs> Where is it? Like, it's over right, here in the black. It's right over here. How can you <laughs> see that? You shouldn't be able to see anything in that area. Uh, I think we we all still have control over Josh. Oh, what? that's why. Okay. He's the sphere. only one I can see. Yeah, uh, me too. I thought it was the thing. Let me fix thing. that. <laughs> I see myself too. Well, you you should be able to see yourself, but that's you a mirror shouldn't see anything <laughs> else yet. I don't see myself. I just see Josh. Uh, let me see. Hang on. It now might be a layering thing. Now I've got to fix it all. Um, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause a problem. I just wanted to comment on the cute little Josh I have on my screen. That, that, if that's a black rectangle element, you might want to just uh, move to front. Hang on. Let's see. Where's Josh? Edit. Yeah, he's it's right because he's set for uh, all players to be able to see him. That's why. There you go. There I mean, go. Right, so I mean, uh, honestly, guys, we we could <laughs> try to lure them out and do our range thing. I mean, you know. You want to bring them out towards us. You want more of them to come in all directions. We, we clear the site. We could do it, Josh. We're How many? Okay, okay. How many more are there? We don't know. Oh, oh, really? Oh, so you want to bring <laughs> an unknown number of them towards us? Can you do that, Physic? Not bring them out, of course. I mean, obviously you can do that. I just mean, like, can you tell how many there are? Like, do you have a... Ah... Uh. You told us once before the amount of creatures in the area. Many times, actually. Yeah, oh, that, that was when that's... we were hunting for food. I was prepared for it. I, I didn't do that today. I, uh. I have another idea <laughs> for it, though. 
one of those limitations of the people who have to choose their spells. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Trash, I understand what? where you're coming from, but we kill, we did kill quite a bit of them, and I think yeah, we could you're... handle them, honestly. I, mean, I can see where you're both coming from. What? Um, there couldn't be more left than we originally encountered. <laughs> there absolutely could be. <laughs> How are you I, I basing so. this? You're a scientist. There's no way you could come to that logical <laughs> conclusion. Uh, okay, okay. I, I can't. I can't say there's no way, but I can say there are very high odds that when we first approached, they would try and ambush us. If they're doing an ambush, you don't have everyone hold back. Well, yeah, because they were trying to keep us alive. If you don't remember, they were later once we started our escape. They tried to kill us at first. Did they? They, they, almost, they, they, down they almost killed Ned, yeah. Sorry, well, Ned, I know. But they, but they let the rest of us get away. They were trying to lead us to a, another point of ambush, which would mean the rest of them would then pile in on us because we wouldn't be able to escape, uh, which we broke their line and escaped. Um, right, the rest of them, meaning that there's more of them. Uh, yes. I'll tell you what, Physic, give me another, um, what did we use last time to determine? Just knowledge nature. Yeah, give me an another knowledge nature check. Okay. As soon as you're specifically trying to ha have this deduction. Okay. <laughs> watch me, like watch me, retcon, let me, let me retcon <laughs> everything I said. <laughs> okay. Um, so with your natural 20 last time, you figured out that they were hurting you towards something. You figured that they were trying to get you in an advantageous position. Um, previously, they never worried about that. They just attacked you, right? They just come around you and swarmed you. As we were so it's logical to assume maybe they didn't have the numbers anymore to swarm you, so they were trying to get you somewhere that their numbers would be more effective. Thus hinting at the fact that maybe there aren't that many of them left. Or that there are more somewhere else. Oh, that voice that was ringing out through the sky explaining everything I was thinking, <laughs> that. Everything I just said, he said, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, in, in conjunction with your predatory instincts thing, I mean, if you know, logically, if you know that that's what they were doing, you'd un understand why they would do it too. Yeah. Do you think they were intelligent enough to set something like that up beforehand? Maybe they're a half mind. Do you think they could communicate telepathically? Not this telepath is worrisome. No, 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 not telepath. <laughs> they they chirp like birds. Uh, they they would they would they would skitter their their little and making that oh, as quietly oh. as I can not to wake them up. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Speak with animal. Oh, what he actually oh. just said was, "Come and get it. It's dinner time." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One's cute. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so that that sound that they're making, that chittering, was a, a way to uh, basically warn the others as to our location. They were trying to guide us to an advantageous position, and the only reason they would have to do that is if they found us to be a significant enough threat. They originally attacked us full on because they weren't afraid of us. When they realized they were possibly going to lose, they changed their strategy completely. Uh, now that we've taken a lot of them out, the odds are their numbers aren't high enough to actually deal with us. And they knew it. Unless if we, show up, today, mm -hmm. if we show up today, guns blazing, there's actually a chance they might just run away. So you want to do the thing that we worked on before we got here to pivot I have a couple of ideas. Of course you do. When don't you? <laughs> right. Um, so, you know how I can make the ground hard to traverse? Yes. And how they kind of came from inside the dirigible? Yes. If I were to put that in the dirigible, I could also do the thing where I make the ground painful to walk on. But do we know that that's where they are now? That's the thing. We'd have to find out, which means we'd have to either scout or get a really good vantage point on the thing. Well, we do have a weasel. Yeah, we do have a weasel. Yes. I'm going to turn, turn and look at Dalit. <laughs> 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 oh, 
but other weasel, <laughs> other weasel, <laughs> not me. Uh, <laughs> uh, if we could get a good look at it, and and we knew that was the case, I could drop that, and they'd be basically in harm by the time they got to us. We could try and funnel them down, and then uh, Rush, you could do that lightning thing you did that nearly killed two of them. No, I can't. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you need to check my character sheet. <laughs> Did y'all do something that... No, it, it's a long story. I'll, I'll send you a message. Oh. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a big deal. Did you trash the macro? No, it, it's something... Yeah, while I was watching you guys on Monday when I was at work... I kept shouting to the other employees something that that, that Shaggy will tell you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so you can't do that, but uh, we, so we could still funnel them down and try our formation, and I think if I, that I, I can doesn't just scare about them off. anything else you want me to, but not lightning bolt. <laughs> okay. Mm. And yeah, I could send Jerusha in. Uh. That works. Yeah. Jerusha doesn't smell either of, of uh, mm. any kind of scent, so they don't sense them, right? I mean, they don't only depend on scent, but. Well, Jerusha's well, made metal, one. so. <laughs> mm. It's not a bad idea. Just got away. All right. We're letting Jerusha go scout. Alrighty. Um, so you're just going to let him go strolling up to across the open ground. Where do you want to send him? Mm, I guess to the point closest to us where uh, she can get up into the dirigible. Where okay, the so you went. want her to go up into the actual, like, this thing. Right. Okay. All right. We're looking to see if that's where they are. Alrighty. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Uh, how long do you want to wait? Mm, let's see. She can travel about, is it 20 or 30 feet? I, I think it's 20. I think it is 20 because she can, she moves slower than the, a normal... Um, yeah, so you wind her all the way up. Yeah, wind her all the way up. Let's see, what is the length here? It's about 100 foot all in all, I think, roughly. From All right. To. So I'm going to have her scout all the way to the end down here unless she sees something. Okay, all right. So you're going to send her down there, have her go all the way to the end, turn around and come back. All right, okay. Yes. Alrighty, uh, well, Jerusha goes whirring off into the uh, undergrowth and heads down towards that. Um, several, you know, quite a few minutes later, she comes whirring back. Um, and you get the distinct impression that didn't find a darn thing. Um, All right. During, during the time of her in there, you didn't get any warnings, warning feelings or anxiety or stress or fear or anything. All right, Jerusha says it's clear. Wait. Huh. Maybe they moved on? Like, to the next life? <laughs> <It's> all... <laughs> uh, I mean, and this is because I missed last time, but uh, did we find any proof that they had anything to do with any of the deaths that you guys saw? It didn't seem that way. The bodies looked long decayed. Okay, so maybe they just happened to find it when we did. I mean, it does have quite a smell. I mean, this doesn't mean that they had been camping out here or living here. Right. Uh, do we want to proceed with caution, then? I mean, I think so. Wait, what, what, what about this one? I mean, obviously the ship itself has decks and... Oh, again, because I missed the end of last episode. Uh, 
There was something else in the in there, wasn't it? We, we never went actually inside, but we were attacked from inside there. Yes. So that's there where be something those in that there. those that chased us came from. That that's what Physic felt when he was against the wall. Right. Oh, that was what was shaking. Yeah, or... they they came. Oh, yeah. they burst right, out right so. as we ran. That's what they came out of. Good because again, when I saw this before, I thought that was a ship, and I didn't know why it was in the middle of the jungle. And I'm thinking, why is there a crack in in the ship? There's no water. Okay. <laughs> so, are you gonna send Jerusha in there, or are we gonna? Yeah, I'll send her in there too. We're wanting to be extra cautious. So, right. um, I mean, the ship's gonna take a lot longer to, for Jerusha to cover it because, of course, there's it's in two halves and there's multiple decks. Right. Um... Let's just scout the 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 side that's closest to us first, and then we'll use it as like a buffet. Okay, so you want to like have yeah. her go down and scout out the the um... yeah, just that side first. Okay, the bow of the ship or whatever. Okay, alrighty. So off, click, 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 click. Jerusha goes again. Worry, worry, worry. Oh shucks! I just realized Battle.net's not up. I'm sorry. Is it not? Oh, it shows you're offline. Okay, I've got your window open, but alrighty. Um, well, I'm trying to open it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that was a that was a Jerusha roll. Oh no. That was a them roll. <laughs> you sure about that? Oh no. <laughs> Those were Jerusha's right. attacks. Um, oh, you no. suddenly get a sense of fear and terror from Jerusha. Oh no. Um, and how many hit points does Jerusha have? Uh, let's see. It's supposed to be how much of mine? Um, it's, if you're above the, st if you, it's basically, if you're already over what her natural is, um, then as a, uh, familiar, um, it would have, um, one half of your hit points total, or its class hit points, whatever is the higher. Okay, mine is mine's thirty-five. So it would either have half of that or two hit points, which is the weasel. So um, significantly more than that. So it's going to have half of yours. So like, Jerusha so, like, has seventeen 30, or eighteen. It rounds up. So Jerusha has Ooh, 18. eighteen hit points, and uh, <laughs> oh, it God. just took seventeen of them. Oh, um, so yeah, you suddenly get the sense that Jerusha is in panic, fear, and terror, and then pain. Lots and lots and lots of pain. Alright, so I immediately drop everything I'm holding, except for what I naturally have on my belt, and take off running. Alright, okay, so all of a sudden Rush breaks from the tree line and starts charging in that direction. The plan! There's the Rush up there. Oh, shit, the plan! And I'm gonna start following her. Yeah, gonna... yeah, we got, we gotta get into formation here. So yeah, rush I think formation. We all run faster formation. than rush. <laughs> Who doesn't run faster than rush? All right, okay. <coughs> all right. Um. So you guys are all heading in that direction, or um, what? So tell me what you're doing as you're doing this. Well, if we can catch up to Rush, we'd probably. Uh, you definitely grab can him. catch up to Rush because Rush doesn't stop move him. very fast. Yeah. Formation Rush! When you say stop, are you talking about physically restrain or just yes. saying stop? I would like kind of grab him. Okay, so you're going to physically run up and grab Rush and like pick him off the ground so that. Yeah? yeah? Is that what you're doing? Yes. I'm jerking away, trying my best anyway. I'm not really that All right, strong. Then you'll have to grapple. Just to so whoever is holding Rush will have to do a formation. grapple check against Rush. Oh. So whoever... <laughs> Josh? I'm about to entangle Rush. Oh my yeah. God. yeah I, 
Well, did you say you were going for Mirigo? Because I would have. Well, Mirigo was. We're all I mean, going. Ma I thought Mirigo was up. doing it because you're telling me that you're. That's yeah. what's happening. So I'm assuming you're doing it, right? Uh, I, I'm just shouting "stop, rush, stop" formation. <laughs> I'm not going to be <laughs> physically involved yeah. in grabbing in the little sport. Um, All right, that's okay. Um, of course. Yeah, to be honest, I wouldn't try to grab him. I would just. I would be reluctantly behind everyone. Okay, just me then. Yeah, okay. honestly. Guys, stop. Oh. oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh my god! Hmm. All right, um, Rush, give me a grapple check. Well, <laughs> um, Rush actually manages to break out of um. Rush breaks out of the um <laughs> the hold of Marigold and uh, continues to run forward. Um, about that time, of course, you've all heard the sounds, and on the top of the bow, you see the things begin to suddenly emerge. Of course, they couldn't track you, they couldn't smell you, but shouting out in the open, they could hear. Um, yeah. So yeah, you second. guys can see there are four of them, and they have all kind of emerged at the top of the bow of the uh, broken part of the ship. The second I see them emerge, I would shoot at them. I have the range with my rifle. So. All right. In that case, then, folks, I reckon, if you give me just a second before you do it. We're going to get some initiative rolls going. So uh, let's get them. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. That's kind of bad. <laughs> All right, so we've got Jash on a 23. We've got Physic pulling off a 21. Marigold on a 17. Um, Rush on a 15. And then Dalith mm. brings up the, that on 12. Let's see where Ned goes for you. 1d20 plus 4. No, hang on. What is Ned's? Does he have... Well, Yay, I signed into the wrong Battle.net account. <laughs> 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 Ninja's here. What's up, buddy? Uh, let me just double check something. Okay, no, I took that off. Okay, um, so in that case, oh, oh Ned's going on a twenty-four. <laughs> oh, it's Ned. Yes. oh, thank God that is Ned. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I was Ned, say. yeah, Ned, Super Ned has the initiative. <laughs> Super Ned, you all right. <laughs> okay, um, so Ned is saying, uh, uh, "Marigold, get in the line. Uh, uh, what do I shoot at? They're in front of me." Shoot up top at them! Closest one. The one closest to you! Um, Ned's too close to be able to clear, to clear a shot above you. Oh. Above? You're a tall he? person, oh. Ned's kind of directly behind <laughs> you, so um... Hold your shot till I move! <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Ned pulls the bow back and holds his action. Okay, um, Jash. Uh, what is my range? Oh. The range on the javelin? Because you said it was going to be different. Um, yeah. What is the... Yeah. Basically, um, 25% less than whatever the javelin range is. So it's 30... Oh, no. Range range is 30 feet. So, okay. It's, it's a like range 20. increment. So you could throw oh. it up to five times, but your attack goes down every increment you yeah. use. Gotcha. Up to five times. Yeah. So... So 150 feet? Um, and 25% less than whatever the normal is, because it's improvised, yeah. Okay. So, so like minus thirty. So about one hundred and twenty feet is the max range you can. <gasps> one hundred and twenty. Okay. But it's, it's a yeah. It's but that's like at like, a minus five to hit. Right, right, Something right. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jazz is just gonna move right over here. And stop. Okay. And just stand there. Be ready. All right. <laughs> Physic. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing that I normally do when things are far away and I can't quite hit them. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> go ahead and buff someone. <laughs> okay, who are you buffing and what with? Uh, 
I'm going to go over to Dalith and give him Cat's Grace. Oh, okay. Um, so you get butt. a nice Constitution uh, modifier bonus. Oh, dexterity. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, dexterity. Sorry. Dexterity bonus is plus four enhancement bonus to your dexterity. If I roll a one again, I swear. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Um, Marigold. <coughs> yeah. Um, it, I got my crossbow. Um, so I'm first. I'm going to move slightly. Here. All right. Okay. Uh, as soon as you do move. Yeah. Um, Ned is going to fire the bow. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> Plus nine, too. What a, what a sad thing. Um, oh, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ned. Um, and Ned was rolled distracted. The moment distraction causes oh. him to suffer minus four on the hit of his next attack, uh, which he does get a second one, which would have been at plus four. So now it's a straight d20 roll. Okay. And, uh, no and he fires the oh, second well, arrow, which yeah. goes way high. All right. Okay. okay. Um, so that was Ned's Breathe. action. Uh, Breathe through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. <laughs> I try and attempt to shoot my crossbow at that one there. On the bow? Okay. <laughs> You hear it go boom as it Eight. sticks into the wood directly beneath the creature. Um, Rush. It's been looking great, Dallas. <coughs> okay, so seeing all these things come out of the ship, I'm gonna skid to a halt. <laughs> Super pissed. Um, gonna pull out the pistol. Okay. But not fire. I'm going to use it as your component. Almost. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Point the pistol at Marigold's head and say, If you move, the lady gets it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. She's not kidding. Uh, this is something new <laughs> not um, I've never seen in my macro before. So. <laughs> that is not what it's supposed to say. Not magic missile. <laughs> okay. What was that supposed Sorry. to be? Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be magic missile. Okay, so ignore all of that. Yes. Okay. I don't know what I just hit. Um, <laughs> I, I cast True Strike on myself. No. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, so pop that up instead then. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have it, Mac. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, but it adds plus twenty to my next attack roll. Yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> as long as you can tell chat what it does. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. Okay. So yep, that gives you plus twenty on the next shot. You do, Dallas. Uh, fire my rifle and pray I don't crit fail. Uh, okay. Um, so give me just Because <laughs> that would make me very sad. Oh, but I, I know you don't ah, care. Alright, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, so good. Sh low. Okay, yep. Um, which one are you shooting at? The, the, the one immediately in front, the closest one. Okay, alright. So, um, that one takes a bullet from the Sidorian hunting <laughs> rifle. <coughs> um... More or less, it, it kind of just ricochets off of its um, thick leather scaly armor and doesn't do any serious damage. Um, Does it fall? All right. <laughs> now I need to roll to see what their initiatives are. Because I didn't do that. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And they would be... Go in there, okay, which is actually perfect. All right, as soon as that happens, they all leap into action and begin to charge forward. Um, all right, this one will get here but cannot attack. Um, this one will get here but cannot attack. Oh. Stop. Roll 20. Stop moving and doing strange things. <laughs> Alright. This one will get here. And cannot attack. Because they're all using a dash. Um which allows them 80 foot of movement, but if they go beyond 40, of course, they can't actually attack. Um, this one, I think this one... No, he can't quite either. Okay, in that case, 
He is going to break straight through that line and come straight for you guys. Um, so pretty much in one round, they cover the distance and they're that tearing formation. down towards you, <laughs> but they're not close. That None of them are actually quite able to get in and attack. Um, with that, Ned hurls the bow to the ground, snatches out his scimitar, um, and charges straight at the first one. Roll 20 is being really laggy for me tonight. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's make um, Ned's attack. So with his scimitar... Um, his first attack... Ooh. Is a hit? That's that's a crit. Crit chance, rather. Um, yep. And let's roll for the possibility of said crits. And it is. Nice. So Ned opens up. Ned starts off with a crit for you guys. Good old Ned. That um, pretty little scimitar damage, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's... Hey, at least he gets to roll the dice twice. And Ooh, a possible that's another, another one. one. Come on, Ned. Double crit, baby. Two crits, yes. Damn. Awesome. Two crits, yes. Your, your mama's in jeopardy. Oh, oh, no, it's oh, a point no. shy. Oh, no. All right. Um, but that's still plus a total of 3d6. Well, plus oh, yeah, size, size difference. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. No, you're right. It yes. is. Yes. It yes. is. You remember size. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's 4d6 plus... Um, this is damage bonus here. <laughs> We just, want, we just want Ned to succeed. <laughs> we just want Ned to do good. We just, we just don't want to die. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ned goes to work like a whirling dervish with his scimitar. 29 points of damage. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to start things off. Go, Ned. It's yeah. amazing what people can do when they're not unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... I'm not going to roll for Ned anymore. I'll make you guys roll for Ned because my dice rolls are too high. Uh, Jash. All right, you've got uh, I, one in your face, buddy. Yep, I'm going to take a swing as it comes running up to me. I, I never took my javelin out. I just waited because I knew how quick these things are. Waited for it to run straight up to me, and I'm just going to swing my flail at it. Okay, all right. Let it have it. Full attack, Full yes. attack with the flails. The flail, the flail snail. Snail flail. Plus, Plus one additional for the size. Yep. Yeah, don't forget okay. your size bonuses, which means you nope. little guys get plus two. Yes. Got it, got it, got it. Ooh. Uh, one hit for great, four. Great damage. Okay. Great damage. Oh. <coughs> hey, it's a start. Physic! Um, I'm going to dump uh, an entanglement on the three, if I can. Get those three and then just towards the boat in case okay. anything else comes out. All right, one second. <laughs> Let me uh, pull up the spell necklace. Let me find my such a good spell thingy I that I spell. use for mm -hmm. that. Right, it's a it's a beautiful spell. I have all I have all the best spells. Um, <laughs> all the best spells. It's um, a forty foot radius spread, so the radius would be starting there and cut all the way to the. Okay, so yeah, I cover like this whole freaking area. <laughs> I'm just putting that all the way to there. There you go. That's 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 the radius. So, so it's on, it's like four, three, add three times that, cause in cause it's the radius is forty, right? So that makes it eighty all the way. So it's eighty across, and then it'd be everything in that. Yeah, basically you can. I mean, I'm I, 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 not really an easy way for me to make that do it, but um, it's the whole area. This, yeah, it's this whole basically, area. it goes down at around and in between the boat itself as well. Good. So um, that's what I wanted. Now, not inside, right? Um, here's not the inside. thing: the one that Marigold is fighting is kind of up there between those two. So that, unless you're gonna catch Rush and Jash, yeah, I'm not gonna do not that. gonna catch that one. Yeah. All right, it's so more the just two that are in it um, need to make their save. It was important to know if it was inside the boat because I might have to kill somebody. <laughs> it's in the boat. Um, it's, well, it's, gonna... it's an entangle. It doesn't deal damage. Yeah, entangle doesn't do damage. <laughs> All right, um, they get a reflex <laughs> save like... um, to be able to possibly continue to move. So um, the well, one in front of Jash. Yeah. 
uh, passes, and the one in front of Rush does not. Okay, so this one is actually entangled right on the edge. So if you move back out of its range, um, technically it can't hit you. Alright, so I will change the tint color on that one to green to indicate that it is entangled. Um, the other one isn't, and because it's right at the edge, it's going to be able to move straight out of that anyway. So, But you got one kind of tied down if you all use that strategic... If you use strategery. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so I mean, it kind of has. How big are these things? Are they like, bigger than me? Um, I'm wondering. They are considered. They are considered large. Yes. So yeah, they okay. do count as one size above you. Cool. Uh, all right. I'm going in for the uh, attack. All right. Plus, plus one, right? <laughs> uh, you get plus one to hit due to the <laughs> yes. size. Yes. There you go, Marigold. Yay. Slap it for seven. Why can't any of us nice. roll anything besides the minimal amount of damage? I don't know. Because y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing all the sucking. All right, rush. All right, I'm gonna. So you get a, you've got a twenty enhance. You got a plus twenty on whatever you choose to roll. Okay, I'm gonna take a few steps back here just because okay. I want to try to get out of this thing. Uh, you can take a, you can take five foot. Uh, now, here's the thing. Um, it will get an attack of opportunity if you back out of combat. Oh, for f- oh. Unless, you know what? Screw unless it. you make a disengage, in which case you can do that, but then you don't get an action. No, I don't think I would... I'm worried about Jerusha. I don't think I would think to do that, honestly. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're just going to take aim at this thing's face. Because yeah, you can take a five-foot step back, but that will break you out of the range and it will get an attack of opportunity. So. All right, okay. What are you going to do? Shoot it with the gun? Yes. All right, pistol time. Pistols at dawn. Oh, my attack goal. Bonus. <laughs> Uh, you you can't miss, um, really. It's the question of if you get a one or not. So just don't do that. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, one. No. A two. See? I mean, uh, you I almost you almost did it. Bro. Even with the plus twenty, that was still only twenty seven. But you oh do hit God. it um, for There's eight There's something points. wrong with these macros. Do you see this? I rolled like the least amount of damage to you. Uh, yeah, oh, you they, they, they hate you. Hey, you <laughs> They're out red? to get you. All right, it's Dallas. Just, it's just red. It's just red. Um, is this thing like it? It crept up on Ned, but am I in range? I know my gun is technically, but like I mean, from yeah, its, its claws. Right there. I mean, it, it's. I mean, it came right for you, and it was only the fact that Ned went first that he engaged it. That's really okay. So, so I mean, you're I'll, in melee with it as well. I'll take a five foot step back, taking an attack of opportunity. Okay. And I'll use the rest of my turn reloading my gun. So. All right. But I, I will take the attack. All righty. Okay. Um, so, yeah, as you back out. It misses. Luckily for you, <laughs> it, it kind of, it's so fixated wow. on the pain that Ned infected. By the time it was aware, <laughs> it lashes out at you, but you're already too far back for it to be able to strike. Okay. Um, with that, Ned will kind of, you know, obviously he is going to try to maintain its attention. Um, it is their turn. Okay. So, Dalith. Yes. Um, not Dallas, sorry. Um, Jack. Yeah, that's what Go I ahead yeah. and uh, throw him first. All right. The thing swipes at you. And is that a hit or a miss? No. Um, Jash. You're muted, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. It's, uh, yeah, 19 just hits. Oh, Our um, it's size, a, it's, plus one for my size difference, yes. right? Yes. So it misses. Okay, so it misses by literally your size difference. Yes, <laughs> yes. <gasps> um, that one does but it catches though. you, it, it adjusts on the second attack. <laughs> just barely, though. Yep. Just it's like, oh, wait, I was, I was half an inch too high. Let me just swing a little <laughs> lower. All right, ten. Okay. <clears throat> All right, ten points of claw Gotta damage. Get some armor on. Marigold. Got it. Congratulations, yeah. it is your turn. A uh, 23 and a 32. Is that two hits? Ooh. I didn't make my reflex save. 
Oh, right. yeah, because you fired your gun. We'll do that in just a second. Marigold, is that two hits? Yes. Okay. Uh, for only a total of 19. Could be worse. All right, go ahead and give me your reflex save. The reflex save failure could help you here. <laughs> Literally could. So, fail? Uh, 15 or... Oh. Uh, no. uh, you did make it, so you didn't get blown back. Um, which, I mean, logically, why would you choose to fall over when you fire the gun? Obviously, you try to brace yourself when you make sense. All right. Um, let's see what we're doing. Uh, uh, Ned. Okay, the one that's attacking Ned opens up a can of Ned ass. Oh, so close to a four. <laughs> um, yep, Ned's hit twice. Oh, Neddy Poo. Um, and does 22. Hey, Ned actually did more damage to it than it did to him, so Yay. way to go, Ned. <laughs> All right, top of the round. Um, it is Ned's turn. He will attack again, obviously, with his first swing of the scimitar. Oh, ooh, another ooh, potential another one. crit. Another one critical again, possibly. Come on. Oh, oh no. no! Okay, so it's just a hit. That's right there. Hit. Still a good hit. And then the right next there. one, his second attack is a miss. Yeah, miss. All right. All right, Ned. So Ned gets in the four damage. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sorry, Ned. Not he. He's, he used all of his ability last turn. Um. All right, Jash. You're up, buddy. Oh, if I. Grapple this thing and throw it. Does it have to reach again, or since it passed, is that it? Um, no. If it if it passes, it can move. Okay. Even oh, if I also throw I have it. to roll for this one. Um, to oh, see if it can break this, if it can break out of the, and it can. Nope. So it is still yes. entangled. Okay. Okay, so it's oh, gonna shit. be out of there regardless. Okay, then I guess I would just uh, keep attacking it then. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's it will be out of there. The only one that's entangled currently is this one. Yeah, but that's what I mean. If I threw it farther back in there, it would still um, be well, okay. Well, if you threw it farther back in, it has to work its way back out, which it has to do at half its movement, but as fast as these things are... That's, yeah. yeah I'll just see if it has to get entangled feet. again. No, <laughs> that's fine. Throw it 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. I, I throw it 30 feet. You do throw 95 miles per hour. All right, here we go. I do. There we go. Come on, it's cuties. Thanks for the resub. Oh, my ah. God. Oh. No hits, but good damage. Oh, really? Hands off and hit the hype. Oh, Jazz. Sorry, dude. Oh. Um, even with the pluses, your plus one's not enough. Yeah. All right, Physic. Yep. Still what you up to, Fizzle? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my fire right on right on the, the, the one I did previously. That was a good fire. It was a good fire. <laughs> flame strike. <laughs> uh, okay, flame strike on which one? It was a good fire. Uh, it's a five foot radius, so I'm gonna drop it right behind the guy in the middle here and try and hit all three. Okay, nice. so you're gonna try to drop it there. Yeah, I'm gonna shift over. Oh, wrong thing. I'm gonna shift over a little bit and drop it right. In the middle of those three. Five foot radius, so that's a ten foot area, right? Yeah, so like behind... Oh, it's like here. Um... Five foot. Okay. All the way around. Drop it behind him. All right. Um, we're going to talk about this um, after the show. Um, but go okay. for it. <laughs> um, because... All these Does they have to are, be on a target? Well, or? technically, no. They don't. But how accurately could you legitimately guess an exact five-foot point in the middle of a constant moving fight is my point, right? Mm. So trying to drop spells right on the very edge just so it only hits them when you've got Jash and one of them basically doing all of this in the throes of combat. you yeah. got to remember, people so aren't with, standing in lines just yeah, doing yeah, yeah. this, right? Yeah, so, I mean, if, if Jash is in it, then Jash is in it, but I'm still... I won't <laughs> drop it. At that point, you know, all right. I'm still going to um, drop it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, 
Welcome it, to Kia. Good to see you, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one thing when it's like you can hurl a fireball in, at, into an area when they're not in melee with your friends, but when they are, okay. it's a little iffy. Um, okay, so you want to kind of just drop... You're going to try to drop it right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I am going to allow Jash um, a reflex save to not be hit by it. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll shoot it. Come on, Jash. Uh, if Jash gets hit by this, you guys uh, are if not you don't get hit, if you don't, If you don't get hit by it, of course, you take no damage on the reflex okay. save I'm allowing you. So go ahead and give me that first. Okay, reflex save coming up. Hey. Just okay, so you take yes. no damage. So even if you okay. would have been, you don't. All right, then Ooh. it's gonna make it. Um, it's gonna make it. They've gotta make their reflex save. So the first one. Uh, let's Ooh. pass. Uh, the second one. That's not a pass. And the third one. It's also not a pass. Okay, so the okay. first one, which is the one in front of Jash, um, it will take half of that. So, okay. all Let right. And the other two take the full amount. So, um, all right. So half of that would be well, twelve. Yeah, pretty much. All right. And then the other two it, take 23 it. a piece. All right. And then that one is rushes. All right, good deal. Okay, the flames drop from the heavens. There's an almighty roar, a crash as they hit the ground. Um, and Josh uses, loses his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't need him. Better without him. There you go. Big burst of flames. <coughs> All right, um, Dalith. I'm finishing my reload. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to shoot into melee, so that's what I'm Minus gonna do. Minus four if you're shooting at the one that is fighting uh, with uh, Ned. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, sorry. Oh my ah, God, that's my a roll. miss, I'm afraid. Um, Ooh, three. That's not fair. That's not a good roll. <laughs> Never mind. Um, and it is it their been turn. Anyway. Right, I'm going to roll to see if this one breaks out first. Shit. You have the uh, cat's grace mat on there. Ooh, close. Well, that's with the cat's grace. But he yeah, does not. I mean, All right. So nice. this one. Um, so we're going to start off. Let's go back up top to um, the one that's attacking Jash. Okay. All right. First attack. The miss. Miss. Second attack. That's a hit. Close, but not quite. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. And the claw. The claw. Ooh. 13. Okay. All right, Marigold. I got hit but last time, and I don't think I got a turn in between being hit again. Did you not? Oh, I don't think you have. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, yeah. What do you want to do, do then? Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> you just stood there like. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you were gonna do. Ow. <laughs> um, I was gonna disengage. Okay. And go um, over here. Is that really what you do? That is one hundred percent what I am okay. doing. Okay. Um, then I'm sorry, but it's going straight for physic because you just put yep. him in the line of fire. So that 22 is actually an attack on Physic, Which is um, a hit. and so is that. That's so Physic gets hit twice. Oh. Karma. <laughs> Karma for Jash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, sorry, Physic. 18 points, which means you're going to have some problems casting next turn. Yep. And as you have next to no melee ability. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, what a bitch! Um, <laughs> yeah. I think you know a guy. <laughs> um, okay, um, this one, your uh, rush is still in there, so um, it's gonna take two swipes. Uh, what's your AC rush? 
Oh yeah, that that, that hits. Well, you get to add two to your AC. Doesn't Wait. matter. So the second one still hits. <laughs> I, I didn't know this thing was close enough to hit me because it hasn't been trying to hit me. Oh, it's um, tangled. Sorry. No, because remember she didn't move out of melee range. She chose not to. She stayed there. So he's just been standing here the past couple rounds? Um, technically no. Just consider yourself lucky that I forgot to roll for it last <laughs> round. <laughs> I was one. If you want, I'll roll. Um, but I did forget. So that 17 um, would actually... What is your yeah, AC? Because you got plus two against these. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That, that would only make it 15. Okay, so they both still hit. All right. In that case, um, total of 17 points. So, mm. Rush is hurt, but still up. Um, and now we've got the Ned one. Alrighty, Ned. Oh. oh, possible crit on Ned. Oh. It's not, but... Oh, no, it is. Sorry. So, Ned oh, gets a crit yeah. on the first one. Here we go again, Ned. Remember this last time? <laughs> um, and what is Ned saying? See? Okay, yep. So, Ned's hit twice. Oh, Total, oh, that's not, ignore that. That was D6s. And yeah, um, <laughs> should have been D8s. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, I'll take my luck with the D8s. Yeah, really. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It's going uh, down. Considering the way that those rolled. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, it's actually this roll. Okay. That's uh, a little better. And that, no, add, better. add six to that. That's Sorry, weird. so it's 20. I'm messing everything up. Uh, total, <laughs> Ned takes 24. Uh, Ned doesn't look well, because he wasn't fully healed yesterday. So he is he is pretty beat up at this point. Um, but it is his turn. So <laughs> valiantly, he will swipe again. Uh, misses. And the second attack from Ned also misses. All right, yep. Uh, Jash. <coughs> uh, seeing Marigold just run away from the front line, uh, I can't really do much else other than keep uh, swinging away at this guy. All righty. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's a hit for six. Oh, one. His damage Alrighty. rolls are just... Brutal. Yeah, flails are. I mean, you're rolling bad, but um. <laughs> no. All right, um, physic. Uh, if you uh, want to cast, you got a 28 concentration check to pass. I'm gonna have to. So, here, here goes. Uh, come on, come on, you can do it. High rolls, high rolls. Concentration Let's starts see it, with C. C for it's concentration. Uh, nope. That's not it. Okay, um, technically, you should have said what spell you were gonna cast prior to. Oh. Oh yeah, but it was just going to be bark skin on a uh, on. Um, okay, so you basically Ned. lose a bark, lose uh, that that yeah. one of those at that at that spell level. All right, marigold. Um, I do some of this, and uh, <laughs> I make hand puppets. <laughs> <laughs> this I is the monster. This summoning. is physic. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Um, I'm summoning a celestial bison. A celestial bison? <laughs> They're gonna say bicycle. <laughs> a oh, bicycle. They're gonna say a celestial bicycle. Summon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> a magical bicycle just rolling um, down. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can find a... Uh... Oh, is it four of that? No, I can't. Uh, what's your max level spell? What can you cast? Third level? That's what I'm casting right now, is the third level. Is that, but that's the highest spell level you have access to? Because it's so that it's just one. To fourth level. Yeah. So it's a one d uh, three, not one d four. What? Yeah, you only one. All right, have a celestial bison. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna have it show up. Can it glow or something? Uh, <laughs> um, if if it if I'd have known that that was a thing that she might cast. It absolutely would have glowed, but I didn't have time to pre-warn to make it glow, so it doesn't glow. Well, how did I know I was going to cast it? Just <laughs> use, use the color thing. Yeah. I'm going to have it go up uh, by physic. Because 
kind of trying to get in front of Fizzik and attack this guy. Okay, um, roll this initiative. Um, well. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now you've got to worry about being wait. trampled as well, Fizzik. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna attack. Alright, what is its initiative? Um, it's three. Okay, so it goes at three next time, but it does get to attack immediately on summoning, so. <coughs> Go for it. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Okay. It was fun while it lasted, Bison. Rush! Okay. So you can either disengage to not get hit, take a five foot step, but get an attack of opportunity, but still get to act. What's my concentration? Uh, um, ten to plus cast. whatever damage you took. So how much damage so, you take? Last so twenty seven. So you got to you got to twenty seven or higher. If you took seventeen, you got to get a twenty seven or higher to cast. Oh jeez. So either way, I'm gonna get hit. Not if you disengage. I thought I still he gets an attack of opportunity. Not so. if you disengage, <laughs> but if you disengage, you cannot act. Oh. Disengage is the entire action. It's frowned down upon, but. You but but Marigold does to. it all the time. <laughs> when I'm dying, guys, you want the healer dead? It's frowned upon, but I do it, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry. <laughs> Gory <laughs> savage. <laughs> Gory so savage. So yeah, if you want to disengage, you use that as your entire action, but they don't get an attack of opportunity. If you Okay, yeah, I'll move, do that. Okay, so you um, can move um, back, you can basically move your full movement backwards. Or in any spot, you know, away from the fight. All right, let's go. Well, if I, let's go this way, up, I guess. All right, where you where, where are you backing to? I'll just back up over here. All righty, okay. Um, I can zoom in. Can I zoom in any closer for you guys? That's about as far as I can get. Okay, it's a big map. Dalif. Ignoring Rush's wonderful advice not to be mean to my gun, I am going to drop it. All right. Um, and I will I, be making a dice roll. I know you are. On a roll of a one. <laughs> Sorry. You broke it. <laughs> uh, as you drop it, you hear an, un, an ungratifying... <laughs> As you glance down and realize you just dropped it on a small boulder oh that was poking out of the ground. Um, okay, yep, the, there's, a, there's a horrible cracking sound. As you notice that the area underneath the trigger is now kind of jutting out to the side. And the trigger is hanging kind of loose like a uh -huh. tiny apple. Okay. So I'm going to kind of glance to my left hearing that. And I'm going to go, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm afraid you got more <laughs> more rifle repairs to do. What are the odds, dude? Really, um, man? Run when you drop it, it, it's only on a one that it basically does a bad yeah, thing. No, I get that. I'm a bad, I'm a bad DM. I'm a bad, uh, bad, bad. Um, blame it on I'm the dice. Going, you know how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to draw my two throwing axes because that's my action action and I'm just gonna move into the fight. What's up Doom Rage? Thanks for the follow. Alright, uh, <laughs> in you go for melee. Well, you know, you may or may not have just saved young Ned's life. Who knows? Let him have it. <coughs> well, I only get one attack because I moved. So. Uh, well, how far did you have to move? Oh, you did move far enough back, didn't you? I moved far enough so back, yeah. 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 Okay. Alright. Oh, one but you, at least you made it count. All right, you swipe at the thing with your hand axe um, with a glancing blow, but it does four. All righty, okay. I'm sorry, Rush. <laughs> hey, it gives Rush something to do. He likes to tinker with stuff. Um, all righty. Um, <laughs> it is their turn. This one is going to make his attempt to break out of Entangle. Come on, hold true, hold true. Oh, For the oh, second so time, close. it almost gets loose. Uh, All right, Jash, buddy. Here it comes. As the thing swipes at yep. you with its powerful claws. Yep. Ah, oh, hitting dang. twice. Oh. Ow, 26. Oh. Damn. 
And Jash goes down. All right, you see oh, the thing no. just smash into Jash twice. Um, he gets thrown across to the floor as the thing kind of steps down, hovers <laughs> over him, like sniffs him, like, and then looks up at the rest of you, realizing that they're starting to get the upper hand, and it hisses loudly. All right, um, we have a huge bison. Um, logic being that this thing is so much bigger than physic, it's going to attack the bison twice. Have at the celestial bison. Four, uh... Bison's down. Two hits. <laughs> I've got a feeling the bison's probably got more hit points than it's going to take down in one hit. Oh. Yeah. Bring on the max damage. <laughs> <laughs> max damage, max damage. Dad, stop trying to sabotage us. <laughs> All right, the bison takes a, a combined total of 20. Um, so fine. All right, um, soon as it hit with both claws and the bison is what it is, um, it is going to try to sink its teeth in as well. Special attack. Oh, uh, these things, if they hit with both claws, can choose to do so. Um... Bring on the max. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I think plus 112 to hit is a little excessive. Oh. Um, um, but it does hit with a bite. Wow. So it didn't matter, got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as it tries to be... Oh, did it roll? No. All right, as it tries to tear a huge jag out of the bison with its teeth. So, uh, alive. another 14. So, it's 34 points of damage done to the bison, as this thing is literally like hanging on to the bison, just tearing at it limb from limb. Um, speaking of which, the bison may now. Uh, no, actually. I mean, lest I forget Ned and Daleth. Um, all right, one claw for Daleth. Bring it! Yay! Although I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't hit Ned. <laughs> Which is yes. more important in this fight. Than you? That's true. I, <laughs> and Max, I just. He's, he's not close, to, he's not close to terminal death. Ned is. <laughs> I can take terminal eight death. That's too. pretty terminal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you don't want that terminal type of death. You want that light kind. Uh, oh, Ooh. for uh, only eight points. So Ned got off lucky there. Hmm. Alrighty, um, Ned is still up, amazingly. Now your bison can get some action. Alright. <laughs> and it's a hit! Alright, the bison manages to, as the thing is clambering all over its forehead, the bison manages to sink in hey. one of its horns Ooh. and nice. gore the thing for 16 points. Now this is the one that was fighting... Is it? Uh, me it was originally initially. you, right? So it's 16. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So fire and me. Oh, let's see. Uh, it looks almost on its last legs, but it is actually somehow still uh. alive. Even though the bison's horn sunk deep into its side, and there's like blood pouring out of the wound, it is still somehow kicking and screaming. Um, Ned's turn! Come on, Ned. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Why oh, you gotta be so cruel? Cool. Oh, it bounced ah. off of No, oh, Ned wow. is not able to strike the foul creature. Jash. Um, Jash is down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Physic. Uh, seeing as this thing's distracted by a bison and I'm tiny, can I get out of there without? Um, I would say, technically yes, because it's on the bison. And the height differential probably would mean I would say that it would be okay, so yes. Out of the interest of not getting trampled, I'm gonna scoot over towards Ned, um, and I'm going to drop bark skin on him this turn, now that I'm not uh, okay. compromised. So he gets Alrighty. a plus four enhancement bonus. All right, so you give him a plus four AC. Ned currently that. Okay, cool bones. Um, Marigold. Um, I'm running over here. Alright, so you've got this one to play with. 
Uh, I'm gonna drop a heal. And you get an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Um, first. It will hit a 20. Yes. Wait, All right. yes. Alright, um, so you cast your heal, and then for your efforts, receive nine points of damage. All right, uh, what heal are we dropping on Jashy Boy? We are dropping... The mother load. <laughs> yes, kind of. The biggest heal I got, which is Cure Critical. All righty, roll well. On, 22 something. points. Damn. That's not good. All right, it's so okay. uh, add that to whatever negative you were on, and that's how many hit points you're back up. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, rush. Alright. So. My spells. Okay. Level two. Going to. Do Scorching Ray. Alright. On. Uh, let's aim. Let's see. I can do two. Yep. So. Gosh dang it, push the right thing. Mm. It's a range touch attack, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm you're gonna firing shoot into at melee. Shoot at this one so and this one. Okay, so the this one you're at minus four to hit because you're shooting into melee. Oh, stay there. Base attack bonus, dex modifier, size modifier. So I think it was like plus seven last time. Yeah. So this one... Yeah, because none of that changed from right. when I leveled. So but for this one, you're firing into melee, so you're at minus four. So this one would only be at plus three, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then this Let's one roll that one seven. first. Okay. 20 plus three. Yes. Okay. That'll do it. Nice. And that's going to be... All right. Yep. So you hit the first one. And the second one... That'll be your plus seven. And of course, you know it's entangled, so it's um, less. Oh, it's just short. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Yeah, range it, touch. It, uh, it's range touch, and it can't even. I mean, it can't count any decks because it can't move anyway. So you hit both. Yeah. All right. So for the first one, it was. Oh, thank God. That's a nice good spell synergy right there. Yeah. Two <laughs> nice blasts. Good job. Forty-six for the first one. All right, hey. so 17, nice. that was the one that was... That's the one fighting Ned. How much is it, 17? Yeah. Oh, my God. The, the no! Map, it's on one point as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Um, and 16, that's to the one that you were fighting before. All right. Yeah, it... Okay. Did, did it get hit by fire? I think... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, and then I hit it for, what was it, like, some stupid amount of damage earlier? Yeah. This one over here is seriously wounded, but still alive. Um, this is the one that's, this one right here is in the most physical condition. This one, I'm sorry, this one, this one, Eight. are, I hit it are for... like on the verge of death. They're barely hanging on. This one so here is seriously him. hurt, um, mm -hmm. but this one isn't really hurt at all. The one that... Put Josh down. Uh, yeah, that one is not that badly hurt. It's, oh no, it's, okay. it's, it's got more than half. All right, um, Dallas. All right, I'm gonna do some superhero stuff right now. You ready? Okay. You're gonna break. You guys your ready? Let, <laughs> you did that sure. I'm gonna I almost feel like I need a drum roll. Let's 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 have that. Let's let's get into the once, and then shift five feet outside of Ned. To yes. throw my second one at the one fighting the bull. The <laughs> yes. Okay, so you swing at this one first. Okay, Once. go for it. Come on. All right. Come on, baby. I want this. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. Oh, still is so close, but no cigar. Okay. So you swipe at it and miss, but are you? So then you carry on because obviously you've got this pre-planned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. I mean, so I, if it doesn't die, do I carry on again? I really well, you do tell me. I mean, 
if you if oh, if you hit it, it and it, if you swipe at it and don't hit it, obviously I, you can choose to hit it again with your second attack I, as opposed to throwing the axe. I totally would, because I'm now embarrassed. So this one's minus five. <laughs> he doesn't my actually second want attack. anyone to know what he was going to do. <laughs> Oh, so, so there you go. All right, but that is enough to finish the thing off as you bury your hand axe in its skull. It is dead. Oh, Good job. For that. One down. All right. I'm so sad. Um, that would have been epic. It is their turn. Um, this one, once again, will attempt to break free of his captivity in the entanglement. No. That, oh. No, that's not a roll. It, it typed oh. it. <laughs> You're lucky. It just did 20. <laughs> Um, no. oh, 21. Damn. It is loose this turn. It successfully breaks, so it is uh, It's able to get in the mix at the start of the next turn. All right, okay. So this one, finally, you see it break free. It glances back at the captivity behind it, almost like swats at it with one of its claws in anger and then prepares to strike. Um, okay, Marigold. This one, um, so Jash... Jash is up, right? Um, I'm awake. I don't know about uh. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. You're you're conscious. Okay. Yeah. All right. In that case, then I'm going to divide the attacks between the two. Uh, so the first one, and you're on the ground, so your town is prone. Okay. Um. So it does hit you. Yep. All right. Um. Seeing you down there. And beginning to move, it, it slashes at you with one of its claws, only doing seven, lucky you. Um, and the other one, it tears at Marigold and will hit. Oof. As the claw also barely, oh. it's like both of you, it, it literally barely had enough reach to catch you as only the tip of its claws grazed your flesh. Um, that one's dead. Okay, this one is opening up continuing to open up its can of whoop ass on the bison nope. what's your bison's ac uh, got thir oh. 13 uh, then it hits it twice uh, but it, it rolled a one what? oh no it one. did it fumbled yeah right. the first one was a one you're right i didn't so gotta roll maybe the it just maybe it starts itself so let's high. roll the fumble before this this counts in uh, oh. Minus two on the oh. next attack. Okay, ah, so it still would have hit. Nothing. Okay. That's a dead Damn. bison. <laughs> a tasty bison, though. Oh, no, Celestial. No, it's Celestial. Mind. Sorry. That's celestial right, right, right. tastes like crap. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it tastes like glitter. It's holy for you to eat it. 19 points. I think you just lost a bison. Bye. No. Bye. Bye, Bye. son. <laughs> oh. Okay, Celestian Bison is down Ego Jane. as this one seems no. to be rather shocked and surprised that its food has vanished before its very eyes. Um, Alright. In Ned. front of him. <laughs> um, Ned is going to engage this one because it's he it, like dives in between it and Physic. Aww. <sighs> Oh crap, that means I got one deal. <laughs> and it hits it, which means yeah. it's dead. Alright, so Ned has finished that one off, so that's two dead. Okay, uh, Jash, you're conscious and awake, but you're prone. Um, okay, so you if don't I, if have I to stand up if you don't want to. Right, you can attack because if I do, I'll get an attack of opportunity, right? Um, if I stand and up, if you stay and down you can... and just swing at it twice, it's right there. You can make two attacks. Yeah, that's uh, that's. Yeah, it's, I mean, what else? What else can I do? That's what I'll do. All right, go for it. Do I add or take away anything from being? Uh, no. Down there, no. Okay. No, you can attack it from a from a prone position. Oh, it didn't do twice for some reason. So I'll do another one. So that's one. Oh, that's a hit. For, oh, and a decent that. point of damage. Eight. Not bad for your flail. And then... Uh, second attack? Oh, shit. It's going to be different. How, so what do I do for my second attack since it's less than the first one, right? Uh, just do a full uh, attack and we'll just count the second one. Okay. Make your life easy. So we'll ignore the first one and we'll just count the second second of the full attack. Um, That only did one as well. 
Do yeah. Rank oh, your... I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I misunderstood what you meant. So yes, we'll just do this one. Okay. I thought you meant so roll again. Ignore that one. It. No, I meant. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Roll your uh, full attack. Got it. Got it. Got it. Full attack rolling right now. Is that really just doing one? I'm definitely doing the full attack macro here. It, it, yeah, it, it did it, that time. Two. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, that okay. time it did it all right. Um, size, size difference. So they both... uh, with the five with the plus one size difference, that is a hit. Yeah. So uh, hit it five. All right. Good job. All right. I can just see Josh on the ground. Just in with his... Yeah, it's like ah. Okay. Um, <laughs> fortunately for you, Ned dived in and saved the day. So uh, you get to do what you yeah, want. Yeah, I do. don't have to. I don't have to deal with that one. Um, I'm going to heal Ned in front of me. All right. Got another cure Lay light. That's all I got. Happens. So that's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> if he gets hit, he'll be all right. Probably, maybe, who knows? Uh, for nine, all right. For nine. Good deal. Um, Marigold. I am gonna heal Ned. Uh, not heal Ned. Sorry. Heal Jash. Again. Again. All right. Um, you will get hit. Four, nine. With this attack of opportunity, but how much do you dump on Jash? Another twenty-four. Ooh. All right, so Jash is a—that's uh, a good heal. Um, so Jash is uh, kind of bolstered back up there. He's able yeah. to get some stuff going. Rush. I keep clicking on the wrong windows. Okay, uh... Let's... I swim my, my flail back and forth. I swim my flail back and forth. <laughs> That's what we get. Um... I'm gonna shoot an acid arrow at this... Uh, this one? Uh, the one that's in front of me. Okay. Alright, yep. Yeah. And I'm not clicking on myself. Touch me. Okay. Um, let's try that again. That is another range touch, yeah? Yep. And you now do 2d4 points three times. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice hit. Oops. Nice. All right. Nice. The acid arrow strikes the creature. Um, and the... Acidity begins to burn into its um, leathery hide. Roll your damage, 2d4. Two, four. two fours! Or, or three. Nah. Eh, whatever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but it is, it's pretty seriously injured at this point. Um, Alright. Dalif, what you got? Um... Oh, crap. I'm going to have to charge this one, aren't I? Get in there, son. <laughs> uh, okay, you don't have the distance to actually get a charge attack, but you can make a you run over. I'm going to actually throw both of my throwing axes at the thing in front of me. Because it's my logic is it's <laughs> bubbling with acid. I'm weak. I don't want to get in melee with it. Okay. So you run. Gonna... Do you have any other melee weapons after that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no ranged and no. Oh, you've got a bow. You can beat it with the me. bow, right? Yeah. I'll... Two arrows. Yeah. Okay, go for it. I like it. Yeah. So um, throwing both of these. <laughs> uh, this is the thing that's happening, and we're gonna we're gonna accept it, everybody. All right. Hurl those tomahawks. Oh my god. And both of them fall <laughs> flying past it and somewhere they're in amongst all the entangled growth. Uh, so I'm going to move five feet back and kind of curse to myself. And <laughs> maybe trip over my gun that's broken. <laughs> Step on it and break it in half. Break it again. All right. Oh. Um, it is their turn. Okay. Oh, so, um, yeah. Ready? This one is... That didn't go... Um, Ned went. He went at the top. They go. They go at the very bottom. Ned killed that one on his turn. All right, you guys. Um, you've got one apiece. So Jash. <gasps> fumble. Ooh. Okay. Slip and fall. Slip, Slip and okay. fall. Bad fumble. Eight was rolled. You overreach. You must recover your position and lose your next attack this round. Does not get to swipe at Marigold. You got a, you got a nice <laughs> I'm so one. Lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky. All right, uh, uh, Dalif. Shit. 
One for you. Yeah. Missed. Misses. Hey. nice. Hey. May Russ be as lucky on the one that it swipes at him. Uh, uh, I'm afraid not. <laughs> All right, Rushy. Um, the claw tears into you. Uh, only for Ooh. seven. It wasn't a bad hit. <laughs> Might still be enough to drop him. I don't know how many he's on. <laughs> um, this fight, guys. I'm okay right now. Fight. All right, um, Ned. So Ned is going to. We're going to give it a 50 50. One or a two, it's going to rush over to attack the one that's fighting Marigold and Jesh. Three or a four, it's going to attack the one that's fighting with Physic and. Uh, sorry, Rush and Dallas. All right, what does Ned decide? Yep, Ned is going south. Okay, so Ned is going to run down here to come up behind this thing, which will give everybody a flanking bonus. <laughs> I'm going to punch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have much else to do, right? Um, <laughs> Ned swipes at it from the rear, and we'll hit. Yay. And then his second attack will also hit. Go, Ned. Nice. Ooh. Maybe crit. Maybe crit. Oh, it may be a crit. Yeah, you're right. Kill it, please. I've got nothing. Right, detective. Right. <laughs> Come on, some attack. Nah. Not oh. quite. Not quite. Yeah. All right. Um, but that's still two hits. Two d six plus. All right, Ned. How much can you put in there? Thirteen. Mm. Um, it's done. Ned took it out. Yes. Oh. Nice. Praise Jeebus. RNG, RNG bus. All right, Jash, um, from your on the ground position. Yeah, I'm gonna with your new again. style of lazy, lazy <laughs> drunken fighting that you're practicing. Like, uh, Round flail technique. Okay, let's try this again. Full attack. Come on, You should there fight from the ground go. more often. Oh, it's a crit! Oh, look. You yes, should fight from 20. the ground. More often. There it is! Natural yes. 20! Is there a life hat? <laughs> 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 you hit it? You click your pants! Alright, yes indeed. It's so, a Balchinian. Uh, <laughs> it's a Balchinian. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Jash. There you go, buddy. There you um, go. So uh, you get a 20, and you get a 20, and you get a 20. Um, <laughs> Alright, yep. So, uh... If you bet on Snugs this evening, which the majority of you did, yeah. you win gold. There you go. Gold for everybody that bet. Um, Five people. <laughs> all right. So you did... Um, the majority of you did. Thirteen. Yeah. Five. <laughs> well, if... It, if um, Four and four voted for Jane, and then three and three for Satch and right. Shag. So, right, right. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, six, and you just did a thirteen. All right. All right. It is almost down. You have done a plethora of damage <laughs> to this thing. Um, so, physic. Uh, yeah. All the rest of them are down. Except I'm bringing out. One. I'm bringing out my gift. My my lovely gift from Upta. Upta. Okay, what is your gift? Wait, what is his name? Yeah, uh, the axe. The axe? The oh my bone god, axe. the bone axe. Oh, okay. Are you going to run I, in and melee this thing? Or are you gonna I'm going to run in and melee this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I am, because Jash technically is on the other side of it, Um, I will give you a plus two for flanking at this point. <laughs> Uh, one flank bonus, yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, add that, no add that flank bonus, bonus, druid boy. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh, <laughs> it would have been impressive damage, damage too, wow. unfortunately. Oh, yeah. man. Um, but it was a, hey, it was, it was a brave thing that you did there. <laughs> Charging in into the front line of combat. Um, yeah. Marigold, well, beside, speak, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, uh, you won't get a flanking bonus because you don't have anything on the opposite side of you. Oh, hi. I'm gonna limp away. Okay, is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. All right, have an attack of opportunity. No, I uh, said, said disengage. She said disengage. Did she? Oh, okay, I thought you said I limp away. 
Well, so I'll disengage. Ab- oh, okay. Then, then ignore that. Okay. Away. Sorry, I did not hear you. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm quiet. Yeah, he was so quick to roll that on you. I know. Oh, that's what you're doing, die. I was like, that's a dumbass move. Right. Okay. Nope. Um. So you're gonna get out of there. Cool beans. All right, rush. Everything's so far away from me now. I mean, not that I'm complaining. That's good, but. Jeez, uh, what do I have? Um, yeah, 30 feet, basically. And two people in your way, too. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna fire into melee, I guess. I'm gonna scorching ray again. All right. Um, b- give it both rays. Yeah. All right. Um, so you're at minus four to hit with both. Um, so plus three. Uh, Fourteen. Let's see. That would be. Oh. A miss by a, a, a fractional miss. No. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you add your plus two for size bonus? Oh, no. I don't think so. No, with the plus seven, that is with size bonus. Okay, it is. All right. Um, Well, you hit it once. Um, So it gets an attempt to... No, it doesn't. It's a 46, yeah? Um, I believe so. I don't think... Yeah, Scorching Ray doesn't have a a save on it. So, yeah, 46. For 16! Nice. (laughs) Right over the shoulder, yeah? <laughs> and it is down, yeah, right over the head. Um, you have downed it, congratulations. They are all dead. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, as the last of the ones that you're aware of dies... Um... <laughs> um yeah, you guys are uh, free to. I'm gonna heal myself. Do what you want to do, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna dash over to the edge of this mess here. Damn. What was that? Let's see. Uh, Marigold got a the ten saddest, for the heal. The saddest cure moderate I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> right. Um, question: Are you getting rid of all this entanglement that is kind of? Covering the entire area, or are you leaving it in place for now? Not until several listen checks. Okay. <laughs> um, I meanwhile am losing losing my stuff over here. I'm I'm shouting at Fizzy. Move it, move it quick. We don't know if there's more in there or not. I don't care. Move we, it. We won't survive more. Jerusha won't survive more. Move it. Jerusha's safe if this is here. No, <coughs> she's on the other side. She's not safe. Uh, uh, Rush, I got nothing. <laughs> Literally. And whose fault is that? I told you not to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> but Ned was in trouble. I didn't want him to go down because he's doing so good. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up my rifle I just saw and look at problem. it. another problem that's on the other side of all of this mess. As and you pick the rifle so up, the trigger falls out of the bottom and just lands on the floor below the rifle. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that up too, kind of discreetly, like I don't want to admit that it also fell when I lifted it. I'm just gonna kind of like, I need your help, Rush. Um, we'll get Jerusha back. I mean, you know, he's still alive. Rush. He's not dying. technically alive. I'm gonna let, uh, Jane needs to take a very quick break, so I'm going to just shudder her for a second. Wait, I do? Oh, no, did you send me... Oh, that was earlier when we was taking a break. Anyway, okay, ignore that. Okay, one, <laughs> Sorry. you don't know that, and two, yes, she is. But we are also all... Do- Look at Ned! Look at... Well, Jash looks okay on the ground, but he's on the ground. You gonna stand up, man? Or? Okay, so if <laughs> Ned were uh, across I'm, I'm there standing. inside the ship, what would you be doing right now? If <clears throat> all of the rest of us were in the same state of disarray, we'd be formulating a plan before moving forward. That way we don't all die instantly. Oh, because uh, uh, losing uh, all of us... If well, Ned you know, like The plan death. we had before you charged Yeah, forward. the plan that, that we didn't do <laughs> happened every single... <laughs> 
This is Wait. the third time, by the way, that all of you ran off and did your own thing, and we almost got killed because of it. I'm, okay. I'm just about ready to just leave, to be honest. You can all gripe at me anymore. later. Oh. Right now, I'm going through there with or without you. Okay, bye. See you. Have fun. Yes. Good luck. <laughs> what? What do you want me to do? Okay, Run after her? everybody up. It's she not just everybody. put all the rest of us in danger. It's he, him. He just did that. If he wants to leave, he can go. We need to heal each other yeah. first. No, Baron and Ryan, oh, everybody actually, come here. Um, I guess the Sorry. easiest thing for me to do is I can probably copy and paste it to make it a little bit more um, where it actually is. Because this actually goes like this. And like this. There you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk over to where the thing was, but on the outskirts of it, and just try to look for my my weapons. Um, they're they went in way it. further <laughs> in. I mean, when this thing is gone, you yeah, know, I then maybe it. you'll find them. But right now, yeah, that's needle in a haystack, buddy. <laughs> I figured, but I'm still gonna look. Few, few, few I mean, if you <laughs> choose to climb into the entanglement, I'll let you make a search roll to try to find it. While you, if you want to. <laughs> I'm good. Of course, you may well get yourself stuck. Uh, I'll just live with my two arrows and my bow. That's that's all good. Don't worry. Um, can I like assess people for health? Everybody, heal checks. Yeah, I don't look too hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ne ne neither do I. Ned looks at all the huge scratch marks and blood that's dripping from his arms and his leg, and he's like, I. Uh, don't think there needs to be much of an assessment, to be honest, Marigold. Mm -hmm. And and Marigold looks bad too, right? She uh, everybody's Alice. pretty bad off the thing. Yeah, I look okay. I'm not like on near death, but I've yeah, I just knocked out, so I've bad. taken a beating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If if Rush is going to disregard this, then <coughs> let Rush disregard it. Um, I'm gonna drop some uh, spells real quick. All right, what heals are you going to do? Um, for me, I'll drop a Cure Serious. Um, um, on yourself? On myself. Okay. And, so Go this on, first one will be mine, I guess. Come on. Fuck. All right, um, so you get 17. Okay, All right, Rush, if you're going to continue to walk around, you obviously like, can. Like, yeah. Each um, time, because so every time Marigay or heals, that's a round. I'm over here trying to find, even though I know there's no way, I'm trying to find a way through this stuff. Uh, well, basically, and all you've got Probably gotta, in hysterical tears. You can make it, um, basically, you just got to make a save, uh, dexterity save. You can try to pick your way through it. Um, dexterity save would be a 14 or higher. If you fail, you'll need to make a strength check of 20 to break out. There's no freaking way. Uh, well, the thing is, the dex, the dex save of 14 is not that bad. And if you make that, you can just move through it, but at half your movement rate. But of course, you won't. If you fail that, then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> you're stuck. <laughs> Don't get stuck. At least you'll be stuck at the edge. <laughs> so, so, um, I'm crying. just. So, I mean, running. it's a dex save of 14. I don't know what your, uh, de I don't know what your, uh, reflex saves modifier is. So it'd be a reflex save, basically. Yeah, you've got two throwing axes that are down here somewhere. Yeah, I, all my throwing axes are scattered like around, littering the, and littering the forest and up and with old forest. axes. I know where he is. Oh man, I've never felt so naked before. So I don't think that I would be thinking clearly. Right now, um, I mean, I'm just you, you running. You probably think that you're small, or you might be able to pick your way through it. Um, as I said, it's a reflex save of 14 or higher. So, okay, screw it. I mean, depends what your reflex save is, what your bonus is. Seven. <coughs> hey, odds are with you. Um, so I guess crying hysterically, I'm just gonna All right. pick a spot that looks the least dense <laughs> and go in. Go for it. Reflex save. No, 15, just. Okay, so you can move at half your normal movement rate through this crap. Uh, okay. Guys, he's 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 going in. <laughs> All right, well, so you, yeah, you see him start to duck and weave and twist and turn through the undergrowth and head in that direction. Clearly very upset. All right, who was that on? That's for Ned. 
All right, you Rush. go ahead for 14. Uh, Rush, you Come can back. move another uh, half your movement. <laughs> Rush! Uh, by now, Rush is probably almost not visible. The only way you know where he is is because you can see shh, shh, the stuff <laughs> shuff, you know, ru um, kind of ruffling around as he is picking his way through the stuff. I'm not going to dispel it, guys. <laughs> I, 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 we'd all die. Well, you don't need to at this point. He's making his way through. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, if he goes there, saves his mechanical weasel... And then gets attacked. We can't do anything. We can't do anything anyway. Well, also, he's the only one who could fix my gun. <laughs> so <laughs> Wow, well, Albert, you're <laughs> such a bunch of jerks in our party. <laughs> well, no, I'm just dating for fact of survival. <coughs> Excuse I me, mean, sorry. I can work on it, but I'm not nearly as good as that little guy. Just I know. Stating facts. I'll grab your gun and let's go. Well, I did grab my gun. Okay. All right, so you're done with your healing? Um, this is terribly uh, ill. I, I am... Uh, I'll survive. You are hurt. Heal yourself. Uh, I bad rolls, though. I, but. I can do a little bit of healing for us just over time, but it'll take a little bit of time if we're willing to wait a second here, which is what I was going to get at before... God damn it. I'm just I'm gonna start climbing <laughs> in myself. Alright, give me okay. a reflex save. Seeing that I'd dispel it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to do a reflex save. Because I wanted to fail and start like squirming around now. Okay. <coughs> right, suddenly it all vanishes. There's your axis. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, you can you can if I mean if you spend a couple of rounds, you can look around and you'll find your axes laying in amongst all that crap. Come on guys, stick together. Rush Slow down, call your weasel back. <laughs> you can probably move now, right? Why do you keep assuming that? You don't even know that she's alive. True. You don't believe she's alive anyway. You believe she's just some toy. All of you do. I, I, I never said toy, but... It has a life force, but so do we. You're ignoring us for... You're ignoring her. What part of she's my only friend did you not remember? Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah, that's if that's how you want to view it. More, then. more. Okay. Uh, if Ned were in there, and I know that you care about him more than any of us, Physic, I would have been the first one diving through there, right behind you. Uh. <laughs> okay. Nope. I can't speak for Jash. Does Jash need us as friends? Um. Yeah. If it were Cecilia, I would do it for you, Marigold, and you know that I would do it for your treasure or whatever the hell it is you care about, Jash. Didn't you lie to me about it before? I didn't lie. Uh, I uh, said nothing. Oh, okay, so that's not lying then. No, it wasn't. Right. Just because I didn't say, hey, there's treasure over there, doesn't mean it's a lie. Well, just because I didn't go running after your weasel doesn't mean I don't care about it then. <laughs> Do you care about her? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't care about me, but I knew that already. What do you assume that? Care about anybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty obvious for everybody. Jash is like, hey, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not caring. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 like, well, okay, okay, construct, right? I care about my gun. You guys don't necessarily care about my gun, but that doesn't mean you don't care about me, right? D different. What? What? Might want to be careful around the dangly rope thing. I am actually being careful. <laughs> I just am trying to get over here as fast as possible yeah. without... That um, that doesn't look like a, a trap. Basically, it just looks like some of the rigging that's kind of just got hurled, oh, okay. wrapped uh, around a busted tree. Once you're I'm close just... enough to see it. I'm just going to stop and I'm going to say, so I noticed no one said you care about me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> analogy, no, no one spoke up. That cool. was not the time. I, I was... Uh, well, yeah. honestly, Dallas, comparing your gun and Jerusha is exactly what you've been doing this whole time anyway. Because I don't understand it. Look, I understand engineering to a degree... But She's I don't not understand just how engineering. something that you made can be alive. 
It's not natural, so I don't can get we it. Just, can we just form a rank and get this? Sure, I will point my gun at nothing. Yes. <laughs> That's what rank. it is. It's a really good pointer right now. You can use it to point at things. <laughs> oh, I'll attach so, a laser pointer to it and just say, there it is. Okay. I'm going to try to feel around for Jerusha to see what she sees and what she's feeling. Uh, well, she's somewhere up inside of this thing here. You know that. Is does she, she feel? Is there any? She see anything like um, anything scary? No, um, well, I mean, she's scared, but wouldn't you be if something nasty got you in the dark? <laughs> so I mean, well, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to figure out if there's more things in there that um, she feels you're not sensing by. anything other than just fear, because it's only like surface emotions, right? So fear, it, it's lots of fear. All right, I'm gonna cast mage armor. Okay. And displacement. All right, so you need to kind of, this is, if you want to go in there, you've either got to go in from here or from here at the bottom. And All then, right. like, you can clamble up this net here into the, you know, inside the uh, thing itself. I'm going to observe this noose-looking rope. Is that what it is? No, as, as I said, it's just a piece of the rigging that got oh, okay. wrapped around a tree and torn, okay. th torn loose. Yep. All right, I'm um, moving very cautiously. Okay. Can I get in this compartment? Yeah, yeah you, so can I'm, I'm, you can climb on top of it. The door is right there. Looks like well, he I, had a very bad day. Uh, yep, um, there is a guy right here that is um, definitely seriously decomposed. Parts of him have been basically, it looks like, consumed. Um the rest of him is just rotten and mushy at this point. But of course, they've been down here for two, this is a couple of months that they've been down here dead. I'm gonna climb into this carriage part and just search around. Okay. Um, you find pretty much other than um, a couple of kind of you know, the mechanisms, like there are some levers that are busted and bent, a wheel that's busted and bent. Um, there's two corpses, like char-burnt corpses that are about gnome-sized. Um, the interior of this is completely scorched and burnt from the inside out. Okay, so there's no, like, other things scattered around the floor that would uh, be... Give me a search check. Okay. And as I do it, I'm gonna... I'm, you're gonna hear me call out Two gnomes in here, not looking good. All right. Um, yeah, no. I mean, other than the regular workings that you recognize to be what well, they probably are, there's nothing weird or untoward. <laughs> okay, I'd so be I'm, more I'm gonna... concerned if they did. <laughs> okay. All right. Leave and rejoin. All right. So you continue to tiptoe. Are you make, are you actually moving silently, trying to be dead quiet? Um, yes. Because if there is anything here, it can't, it can't smell you because of physics spell. So um, give me a yeah, move silently okay. check. Quietly. M M. Muff for move silently. There it is. <laughs> Ten. All right. Um, yeah, you're not being particularly quiet at all. But you know what? Do you care? Um, <laughs> So, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah. me as a player does. The rush probably doesn't. Right. Um, okay. Um, so you can continue to move forward. I mean, even if you're moving fairly quiet, there's enough noise outside, especially with Dallas climbing in and out of metal things. Um, and then, yeah, you find this me <laughs> this kind of mesh um, piece of netting here um, that's kind of hung on some of the busted timbers. So you can almost use it like a cargo net to climb up into the interior of this part of the vessel. Uh, Jash is, uh, not Jash, um, Ned kind of stands here and warily and rather curiously keeps eyeing this thing right, you know, the edge of the dirigible itself and watching the area to make sure nothing comes out. Alright, so you're going to climb up in there. Alright, um, most of the, I mean, if you can imagine what two decks look like when they're split in half like that. You know, and it's at a steep angle, so most of the stuff is kind of fallen down, is all up against the edge. Um, finally, you hear what sounds like a little bit of noise coming from an, 
basically from a box, like an old crate that's upside down in the corner. I'm gonna... The crate is no bigger than probably about two foot by a foot and a half. So I'm gonna kind of look around and then I'm gonna make click, click, or... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you hear click, click, words coming from inside the crate. All right, I'm moving over to the crate. All right. Okay. Um, so Jerusha is kind of like all dented in on her left hand side. Like one of her front left leg and her right leg don't work. Um, they're pretty much like pressed against her body. Um, her Good. ear is all busted in forward. Her side is, you know, all caved in. So she's like. Perfectly fine on the right side, but at the left <laughs> side, clearly something with serious impact smacked her. She flew across the floor. She hit the side of the crate. The crate f- dropped on top of her, um, and that's where she's basically been this entire time. Um, she has a hit point. So because she cannot heal, you have to physically repair her. So you know that's the only way she can be healed is uh, with, phys- with, uh, re- with actual engineering skill checks. All right, so I'm going to um, pick her up and kind of clutch her to me. Okay. And I'm going to turn around to Mary Gold and I'm going to say, Help. Oh. Help. <laughs> I'm going to take it. To, I don't know if I can heal him. And I like, lean down to look at it. All right. I mean, yeah, you don't know. You've never tried to heal a, a sentient mechanical thing before. Um, my, my toolbox. I gotta get back to my toolbox. Just wait a minute. Um, <coughs> I'm just gonna drop a light heel to see if it works. Uh, okay. No, it does not. Um, unfortunately, the life force is technically still intact, but the mechanical, you know, the physical body cannot be healed by, you know, clerical magic. It has to be physically repaired. So, I gotta um, get back to my tools, Barry God. I gotta fix her. All right. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Uh, what? <laughs> I I just think I I have a feeling, and maybe physics can back me up that there are no more things here. So we can stay in. Yeah, I mean, it, it's in feasible. I mean, nothing else has come out of the. You know, nothing else has come out of the body of the ship or whatever since you've been here. So maybe you're right. Or maybe if there's just so few of them, they're laying in wait to take full advantage. (coughs) They come at night mostly. Mostly. Uh, (laughs) All right. Do we want to trust that? (laughs) I'm not in a state for computation let's go back into the woods i'm gonna brush by josh excuse me you are getting the dirtiest look from physic right now (laughs) and i'm completely ignoring it (laughs) all right so you guys want to like make your way back into the tree line and rest I'm yeah. scurrying over here to find my axes and then okay. rejoining them. Yeah. I'm right. sticking. I'm sticking with Dalith to keep away from Rush to avoid doing something rash to Rush. <laughs> rash to Rush. Rush things. Uh, um, as as okay, I walk back, of course, with Ned's my... going to come down here as well. Then, if that's where you are. As I walk back, you see me happily put my two throwing axes that I lost the other day. <laughs> you know, in my back in their holsters. So I'm going to say, well. uh... Screw it. You guys are my friends. I'm just going to keep walking without saying anything more. <laughs> you guys right. don't want me as a friend. You're still my friends. Dalith, I'll have you know you're incredibly valuable, and despite apparent inabilities to <laughs> follow strategy, your strategic inputs are always I valued. Was, I wasn't the one who broke rank. I know. Just, just for the record. Come on, Jash. Yeah, ja- come on. And you're, then, you're my friend too, Jash. Just so you know. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm assuming Jash is lagging behind a little bit. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, he is <laughs> I'm close. I'm, Dragging I'm his feet, with, kicking I'm, the odd I'm stone lagging back rock. with him just like, you know, if you ran, I'd go with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might at some point. <clears throat> if it keeps going this well, if, if you all are going to get me killed, then... 
at this point, I might feel like I'm even more safe on my own out here than with a lot of you. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Well, we... Hey, Ned. <laughs> I, I, I still think we're wasting our time. We should search this vessel we're, while we're here. I, I have a feeling oh, they're on, not here anymore. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah? Really? Well, yeah. that's a good place to leave it for this evening, then, because we're already oh, a little bit yeah. past. So there we go. We will, we will leave it there for the night. Well met. I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, as well as the author of thedmsblog.com, where you can find lots of fun and interesting articles for both Dungeon Masters and players alike. If you'd like to keep up with the show, follow us on Twitter at How We Roll. Check out our website www.howreroll.com and for our past campaigns and for some fun bonus content follow us on YouTube at you've guessed it, How We Roll we hope to see you all again real soon cheers guys oh hey, it's me Satchmo uh, I play Physic here on How We Roll like, I got two more of these to take care of so I'm, I'm going to cut it short but uh if you want to follow me anywhere, say Twitch or Twitter, it's just Satchmo, and Satchmo just about everywhere. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you joined us tonight. I hope you come back again sometime. It stinks. Hey everybody, Shagget here. I play a character on How We Roll. I'm not going to tell you who I play, because if they die, I'm going to have to redo it. I've already done it once, never again. Follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore Convos. And I'll see you guys on How We Roll. And that's how air works. <laughs> what a good story. And I also hope you enjoyed today's story on How We Roll. I'm Jane and I play If you want to follow me on social media, I do have a Twitter and it is Jane on Twitch with a zero, not no. Uh, that's all I have to say. So peace suckers. For Bye. Myself. Roll the clip. Hello, everyone. I play Jash Windstriker, a level 5 human fighter. And I really like playing him because he does really cool stuff all the time. And there you have it. Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter at MaddieSweetTweet. And thank you so much for watching every Monday and Thursday. You guys are the best. I'm having a fantastic time on how we roll so far even though uh, my character first ever got killed off no big deal no problem we'll see you guys next time <laughs> hey guys i am the dragon spooker and for you and how we roll this time i'm playing rush rinkery the gnome ish gnome gnomely gnomian gnomian engineering sorcerer if you don't get enough with me on the show then you can follow me on Twitter at Dragonspooker. You can also check out my channel, which I should be streaming more in here in the future with my new rig this year, at twitch.tv slash thedragonspooker. I'll see you next episode.